Is the camera going? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I got to put my headphones you on. Get some headphones on, Mike. Boop a doop, boop. You going to join us this <laughs> evening? <laughs> <laughs> you come down here and be part of this family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I'm in the middle of playing my game. Oh my oh, god. Man. Yeah, my buddy Chuck's mom, because he lived in the basement or whatever, and we'd be down there just being teenage boys or whatever, and she'd he'd sneak down there, so he'd just whip open the door and she'd be standing there. She was a little different. Ah, oh, that kid. What's he doing? I saw him relatively recently. He's working at Granger down on. Oh, nice. Yeah, down on Fort. Yeah. That was really nice. I hadn't seen him in years. Is he a Bryn Mawr kid? He is. It was Skyway. Skyway. I'm right by the Skyway Library. Nice. And uh, he was the first person I ever saw to play a, re a eruption. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And he, I mean, he was playing that shit like at seventh grade. Wow. Unreal. Wow. Unreal. Unreal. Man, oh man. Well, welcome everybody to hey. another exciting edition of Our Town Podcast. Extraordinary. Coming to you. Oh, oh, thank you. From thank the you. Uh, historic Renton Civic Theater. Yes. In beautiful downtown Renton, Washington. Yes. How's it going, guys? Episode 54. Oh, wacky. Or, God, middle aged. Mm, just like all of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, the podcast yeah. is now. I mean, that's is that middle? <laughs> beyond. Oh, man. It's beyond. Uh, man, well, tonight's safe word, guys, if you oh. feel unsafe for any reason, is the soggy biscuit. Oh, poor biscuits that are soggy. Oh, man. Uh, They're perfect. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, geez, I'm, I'm with them. Man. So if you feel unsafe for any reason, you want to stop this here program. Shoggy. I'm just yelled out, soggy biscuit. I'm feeling like a soggy biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll stop this here. Isn't that a band on, yeah. from like the mid '90s, Soggy yeah. Biscuit? It's a uh, game that young English boys would play <laughs> in the bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what Limp Biscuit is. Soggy Biscuit, Limp Biscuit is a circle jerk. Uh, uh, yes, don't be the last one though, because you have to eat the biscuit. Oh. Yeah. Well, I got a fun oh, fact for you guys. Terrible. terrible. Uh, did you know that female blanket octopuses can grow over six feet? The females do. Their male hmm. counterparts only grow to about an inch. So we're talking six foot to an inch. This is the largest known gender size difference in the whole animal kingdom. Hmm. The females being 10,000 to 40,000 times heavier than the male. Bonkers. Isn't that crazy? It's like an R. Uh, uh, crumb dream. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> Jeez, that's fascinating. Yeah. 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 Holy maybe, moly. Maybe that's why all the alpha males are so uh, headstrong on being bigger and stronger and faster and all that. Yeah, kind of stuff. could be. And uh, just two members of the same species being that yeah, different. That different. Yeah. Huh, yeah, that's yeah, wacky. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. huh. we've always seen those like pictures. Like me and Shaq of, uh, standing next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, you and like Hervé Villages or something, yeah. right? Bonkers. Yeah. Jeez. 10 to 40,000 times? Times their weight. Yeah. It's like, bonkers. It's like, it's like Charles and Vern Troyer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like, yes, dear. Anything you say, dear. <laughs> like, I, yeah, like in those old, all those old, those old like fifties era cool. cartoons where the guy's really mousy and the woman is like, a, oh yeah, oversized. Mr. Wimble on a, like Dagwood. Oh yeah, and his big sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh, that's yeah, right. That's a, yeah, yeah. Bloody, yeah, that's like a two hundred dollar sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Today's grocery price. <laughs> 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 Like man, twenty five dollars balling. <laughs> Dagwood's a balling. Like, yeah. oh, I remember man. watching that as a, a black and white TV series back I when bet, I was a kid. Man. It was it was on reruns on TV. I think they were like film serials. Yeah, was that like a nineteen fifties thing? Yeah, I mean, because uh, still in the paper to this it day. Was, it was Blondie and Dagwood. Mm -hmm. You know, it was the yeah, Blondie. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, it was Blondie's the comic anyway. It's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the name of the series too. I think, uh, hmm. but hmm. yeah. Man, oh man, Dagwood, we love you. I had to Google. Yeah, he's a good guy, though. You know what I, I mean? He doesn't so. remember, like, because there's that in Andy Cap, and Andy Cap and his old lady like fist fight. Yeah, every yeah, other yeah, episode yeah. is like, what the? He comes home, he's loaded, he's a dick. It's like he's <laughs> he's been at the ball. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my god, and she'll like fight that dude with a complete with a rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right next to the family circle. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You still get the paper, though. Yeah, no, every day. Yeah. My paper lady's retiring. Miss, yeah. Yeah, Miss yeah. Pierce. Yeah, wow. yeah. And she was a paper lady when I was a paper boy. Oh, serious? She's been at it forever. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Better. Nice. But we also have nothing but stairs. It's yeah, concrete sure. stairs to get to my house, uh, and I think I'm the only one in the so building you don't have a, that takes the paper. You have a uh, sort of a... Central mailbox. We do have a central mailbox, and I wouldn't be pissed if she left it there. But uh, but she brings it all the way up the stairs. Put it on your your doorstep. Yeah, Yeah. dedication. She's after that tip at the end. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! You can tip them. My two dollars. <laughs> Where's my two dollars? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have to go. No, I really left, appreciate though, right? your new I really place do. is going to be on the ground level, though, right? It is. Yeah. So I bet you're excited to not have to yeah, climb no, a bunch I, of stairs yeah, to move I furniture. I have to bring all my tools in every day because somebody will steal them. Right. <laughs> because right. I live on Earth. Uh, and stairs are a pain, man. Yeah. It's like, and power tools are heavy. Yeah. I mean, the shit I have to work with daily is, I mean, one on one, it's not so bad, but you put them all together, so I don't have to make 80 fucking trips to my van. Yeah. Oh, thanks. God. And it depends on what you're doing that day, too. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Well, you guys want to jump into some headlines? Yes. Stuff that's happened in the week since we've seen each other? Uh, the head yeah. line. Hit it's the, bonkers. This first head. one is bonkers. Yeah. Did, did you uh, see in the news about this? The Alaska Airlines plane? Yeah. And the I door think, just blew off. Yeah. Over Oregon. Yeah. It's I think they, they weren't quite to cruising altitude, but they were pretty close. There's like 15,000 feet or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was actually talking to my roommate about this. He says it's not an actual door being used by people right. or anything. It's not even like a door for like the luggage. It's like a it's like a safety feature or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and there's some kind of plugs or something that's supposed that, to hold the it door. In. The door is the plug, is what it is. Uh, okay, but there was like a, there's like a series of plugs. Uh, well, it was bolts a, or the something bolts that hold. The, the bolts didn't didn't get screwed in properly is what happened. Yeah. And because of that the the plug which is that door blew open when it got up to a certain altitude. Yeah. Yeah, 737 E, right? Uh, n- uh, uh, Max 9. Max 9. Yeah, okay. so uh, it's a relatively new plane. Yeah. Uh, it just rolled out, like, I think, like three weeks ago. Jesus. You know what I mean? Well, it's a brand I new plane. The thing I heard was yeah. that uh, it was put on restricted duty by Alaska Airlines because the light kept coming on for that door. No. And this plane had been flying back and forth to Hawaii, and because the, the light came on and they weren't sure you know, how to fix well, it. Well, just or, do a uh, out of the Cali run We're instead. We're just going to run down to Cali. We'll keep it on land. Uh, right? you, you well, know. I don't know. That's not any better. I don't want to fall 15,000 feet to a hard surface either. I would rather <laughs> land in water than in trees. Yeah, it depends on yeah, the height. Not, it's yeah, not going to matter, matter much. It doesn't matter. But, it doesn't matter. The chance of survival is minimal. But yeah, I mean, just the, yeah. the mentality of yeah. it, I'm, I'm with you. I'm making yeah. out with somebody on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to get yeah. laid? <laughs> uh, oh, man, it's rough. And I, I mean... I think they're looking at uh, just the headline this morning in the Seattle Times. Was that? Thank you, Mrs. Pierce, for delivering the Seattle Times. Uh, they're looking at Boeing. They're not looking at Alaska. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Boeing really either should get their shit together or just be nationalized. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? It's like they've been up to shenanigans. Evidently, this whole Max thing, and I'm obviously, and I'm not claiming to be an expert, but it's a virtually new power system on these planes so they had to change where the wing was how the wing uh, behaved all these different things and then just slapped an older body onto it Jesus. it's just a weird amalgamation it's like hmm. when really maybe they need to make a whole new fucking plane yeah you know what i mean and i don't know but they've been for a number of years like loose rattling bolts <laughs> and <laughs> shit floating around in their planes it's like guys you can't do that with planes right it's not a lego no set it's right? not like an ikea a furniture where you have some leftover screws and you're yeah, like, yeah. Eh, it feels okay. Like I guess we don't need this. Yeah. No, you don't get to do that with aircraft. And I mean, I don't know, top down, right? There's gotta be something's going on. Something's, something's going on. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this next story, speaking of uh, disasters, uh, Lauren yeah, Bobert huh. is at it again, and I didn't fill in anything else because I don't Bubble. know if we want to, because I, I think I've brought her up every friggin' show for I the mean, last few months. She is just a walking dumpster fire. She really is. I, and, uh, I just, and ordinarily, I wouldn't care if she wanted to be a trash person, but uh, 
Yeah. I'm paying her salary. Yes. So I do get irritated. Yeah. 174 k <laughs> Something. It's something a good like job. It's a good job. I've uh, said it many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good end. Uh, Colorado, pick somebody better. I do better, Colorado. I you don't le- have to vote her back. No. You don't have to. I legit see her as the same as that catch me outside. How about that girl? <laughs> She's really not much different. No, She's, it's just, just I, I want better attention because, uh, so bad. That girl, the yeah. Cash Me Outside girl, actually made some. I mean, she like took that phrase and, and turned it into turned a, it into a lucrative. T-shirts and such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she, she's yeah, a, she even have a, she's yeah, doing, yeah, she's she, doing, yes. she's doing hip hop, yeah. dude. Did she really? Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. And I mean, I don't that know was on a TV talk show or something, right? Was that Doctor Phil? It was Doctor Phil. Yeah. It's like the yeah, and we're not paying Doctor Phil's salary either. No. You know what I mean? It's different. It's different. If somebody wants to just. I mean, theme and to be, you know, the flavor of the month or whatever. God bless. I kind of yeah. do. You know pay what? Us. Pay us, people. I mean, you it. know what? She could easily but, uh, make. Uh, she could make a mint if she had an OnlyFans. I she, think she, she would really oh, convert. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bubber, oh, yeah. Afterwards, oh, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, Bubber. Bubber. I mean, oh, yeah, she yeah, could yeah. do it now oh, yeah, 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 and make yeah. a make a million uh, dollars. She may need to to keep her back in porn, dude. career up. But <laughs> so what are we talking about? She went. She was either in the <laughs> restaurant or her husband was so. in the restaurant, and the other walked in, and they exchanged angry words, and supposedly it got physical. The news is that he called the police on her, and then she called the police afterwards. The police showed up. They didn't arrest anybody. She went, you know, mind your own business kind of a thing, and nobody was arrested, and, there, you know, all this stuff. But the sheriff's department is a friend of hers, and they took the video footage from the restaurant. So they're investigating. Well, it turned out, I think yesterday they arrested her ex-husband. Oh. In oh, the wow. whole fracas. So yeah. something happened. He got released on bail and stuff. He's claimed that nothing happened to him. It's it's all he's taken the blame for. But I think she's his cash cow. Right? No cow intended. Man. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, no offense you, to cows. Well, yeah, right? I, I got no beef <laughs> with bovine. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, wish, maybe we should start so calling nice. her Lauren Bovine. <laughs> yeah. Aww. I don't know. I don't know. If, if she wants to have shenanigans, shenanigans in her life, I don't really yeah. care. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. she's free to do such things, right? Yeah, the United don't States. Don't do it in public. No, and you get know. a different job. And get a different Be a job. talking head on some on some podcast or a talking uh-huh. head on one hey, of the cable news. Sarah Palin did pretty well. That's fantastic. How well, it doesn't, but but get off of the get off of the American taxpayers' gold. back, dude. Yes. It's not okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not okay. I agree. Yeah. I think she should she should get a show on uh, what's his name's network. Um, um, Shapiro, dude. Yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. That's no, the one. Th- those guys should go make the most boring porn yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I want to push that guy down some oh stairs. My yeah, god. can we get a celebrity oh fight god. with that guy? Oh my god, I'd fight that dude. And he's younger than I am, I think. I'd uh, fight that guy all day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all uh, day long. Ben I would Shapiro. drag him around the fucking block, dude. Yeah. Oh, I would love to. And I'll fight Bobert. <laughs> right. <For sure>. Uh, <laughs> I'd not wrestle Bobert. Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm not touching that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I would. Oh yeah, no, that's right. God what I mean by that, I mean that is exactly <laughs> what tequila exists. <laughs> and, and, and by that, I mean uh, Bobert. Oh, yeah. I'm not touching that. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, tune in next week for more Bobert oh, <laughs> extravaganza. Because so dis- I'm, yeah. I'm sure something's going to happen. Yeah, and hopefully week. one of the people listening to us right now has thoughts of running for a public office. And I mean it. Please do. Yeah. Right. It's a. It's yeah. a. It can be a dignified and effective use of your time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the pay. So when great. are you gonna do it, Mike? <laughs> the pay and benefits are great. I don't know. I don't. Know. I think you should do it, Mike. I, you, I need you, to decide you, if I'm gonna just become a felon or. <laughs> I, well, you, I, could, well, you yeah. can do both. Yeah. I know. I, mean, I wouldn't want to do both. You could though. start one with or the one other. and end it's up either being outlaw both. or not outlaw. I'm not <laughs> too civilized right now. Disturbs. No, but that would make you perfect for office, don't you think? I don't know. <laughs> Cause I, yeah, because I can't really be tempted by money, so that that it works in my favor, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. But big fat asses. Yeah, I think that that would make you a perfect <laughs> choice for like a, a a politician. Is you're not you're not swayed by money, and that yeah, would no, be good. money doesn't work on me, which is something. So, oh well, we'll, well you that, can give that's me all your money then. Ah, uh, cats. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Cats take all of his money. <laughs> uh, this wasn't in my show notes, no. but uh, did you see the Hunter Biden news today? No. I thought it was pretty fascinating. So uh, the Republican uh, committees in Congress have been wanting to get him. They've subpoenaed him to come into a closed door uh, testimony, uh, closed door session where he's going to testify, right? They're going to ask him questions. He said, I'll come in, but I'm not going to do it in a closed door. Sure. I want it open yeah. to the public. I want everybody to hear and see what what's going on because I don't want the Republicans to come back later and cherry pick statements yes. and stuff, yeah. which I think is great. Yeah, more more uh, 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 see through disclosure. More disclosure yeah, the, the, yeah, the more disclosure, the better. The better right? Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. So he refused. Um, so today, in one of the committees, I think led by Comer. Um, they were talking about doing a resolution to hold him in contempt, right? Hmm. I think I have video about that. If you want to hear the audio of contempt it. of Congress or whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, so he, he showed up at that hearing today with his attorney yeah. and sat in the front row and said, I'm here. If you want to ask me any questions, cause it was an open session. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I'm here. So it was a, kind of a publicity stunt, sure, but, but I yeah. thought it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not so, running. Representative yeah. Jared Moskowitz. And this is the one who did this. You want to hear it? Sure. Jared Ann, that's, yeah. No, no, no immediate relation. Is he with a K or a C? How does he spell his name? Uh, I think it's a K. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. M-O-S-K-O-W-I-T-Z. All right, here we go. About the witness being afraid to come in front of the committee. It's interesting. He's here. He doesn't seem to be too afraid. And the only folks that are afraid to hear from the witness with the American people watching are my friends on the other side of the aisle. I don't know if there's a proper motion, Mr. Chairman, but I'll make a motion. Let's vote. Let's take a vote. Who wants to hear from Hunter right now, today? Anyone? Come on. Who wants to hear from Hunter? And they said he was out of order. And so the majority of my yeah. colleagues over there, including the chairman, don't want to hear from the witness with the American people watching. We, he time. was issued two lawful subpoenas. Re reclaiming my time, Mr. Chairman. No, you issued those subpoenas after he took you up on your invitation to come, and then you were like, oh, no, no, oh, my God, what did we? What did I do? Yeah, saying I Jim Jordan has also, no, so nobody should get away from subpoenas. No. Right? Yeah. No, no. But, uh, yeah. but all those guys didn't testify in front of no, the J6 sure committee. No. I'll share the video on, on our Facebook page if you guys want to see it. Yeah. I don't know. Because yeah, I, I don't like the idea of just... Uh, poo-pooing congressional subpoenas, but it's also not quite the same as being issued a subpoena from a, you know, a civic, uh, from a court. Yeah. Right? It's a, it's a different fucking thing. And there's a different standard of proof for it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, yeah. I don't know. But but I don't like anybody, you know, not complying. Well, no, of course I do. I, I love people not complying with law because I just fucking, you know, do tiny fib blob breaking all the time. Skateboarding, jaywalking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you know what I mean? It's like, we we have to decide somewhere along the line that the rule of law is going to apply equally to everybody. Yeah, because we give a lot of people passes because they're famous or good looking passes, or yeah. our friends, right? Right. It's like, or and wealthy, in the same breath, I mean, Donald Trump is saying that he has absolute immunity. Yeah. And shit like that is yeah. fucking bonkers. It's I can't nuts. believe it's getting any nuts. traction with well, anybody. And it's the funny insanity. thing is, is that during his... What American anywhere at any time has had complete immunity? Ever. During, during his impeachment, he said, I can't be impeached because I haven't been convicted of yeah. anything. Yeah. And now he's saying, I can't be convicted of anything because I was never impeached. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like, <laughs> it is. It's doublespeak. It's, what? It's, it's, yeah. 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 it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> it oh, my God. Well, oh, my speaking God. of it's Trump... So weird. Do you remember uh, hydro hydroxychloroquine? Yeah, and the big thing that Trump was—you uh, might as well yeah. take it. What do you have to lose, right? That was his quote. Sure. Because this was something that the, the the crazy uh, Q people were pushing, right, Todd? Oh, it was yeah. all the Q yeah. folks. Yeah, that yeah, were pushing yeah. I mean, it was, uh, ivermectin. Well, I mean, yeah, the, yes. Yeah. Chloroquine or how it's pronounced, I, I well, whatever. It's, it, yes, chloroquine because it, yeah. people use it's uh, anti-malarial in some cases. Yeah, yes. I, I think, and that's what it's usually used for, right? Yeah, yeah. 
And I think I, I, I could be wrong. So somebody correct me if I am. I thought it was something that was owned by Trump or one of his businesses. Oh, uh, I don't know. Up. He probably had I'm, tons of stock in it. Maybe, maybe yeah, that's I, what I, it was. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think they. But that's, he was that, pushing I think that. He, well, he I think was it was probably it. Russian propaganda because yeah. they don't care if we get sick or not. Yeah. Well, huh? get this. Uh, the uh, the study estimates that nearly seventeen thousand people may have died from using that during uh, from like a misuse. The or something? Well, so they used it, but the issue was that the toxicity of it created cardiac side effects in patients with COVID. Huh. So if you yeah. were already somebody that was uh, uh, yeah. had cardio yeah. problems, had pulmonary problems, stuff like that, the I thought the jab did that. I thought that was the jab giving all these people no. heart problems. Yeah. No. Huh. So, uh, and it was just a small study, and it was only from March yeah, yeah. to July of 2020. Do you know who who did that study? Uh, I'll have to look that I up. I had it. Uh, I had it. It was an organization. Because that's interesting. But that's not a small number, right? No, but they're yeah. saying uh, since it was such a small study, it could be up to thirty thousand deaths related to the. Yes. Isn't that Christ. just nuts? That sucks. But you know, go ahead and take it. What do you got to lose besides well, your life? Right? Yeah. Well, I, I would have thought like a liver and kidney function. Yeah. Most likely liver. I will admit or, that there was a short window of time when the uh, FDA, I think, approved using it. It was like a two-month period or yeah. like a 45-day period or something. I don't know. And I never looked into that as uh, what no. its efficacy could be because yes. it, I think it behaves in such a way that uh, viruses can't grab a hold of cells, right? So it's a preventive. It's a prophylactic, right? It's is not, that what it is? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's not. Once you've got something, it's useless. Yeah. Right? It doesn't, it doesn't uh, help symptoms or anything like that necessarily, but uh, it just prevents... Uh, yeah, viruses from being able to either penetrate cell walls or just they lose interest or something. Okay. Interesting. And I thought it was a cream for the longest time. Not that I'm aware of. It sounds like yeah. it, but it is an internal. Yeah, and it yeah. melts it so fast. Because you couldn't uh, dilute it in water and you couldn't stick it under your tongue even though it melted. You know those sublingual pills? It was like that. But it was the most bitter, shitty fucking thing. Yeah. And you couldn't chase it fast like enough. sucking on an aspirin yeah. or something. Oh, man, it was rough. Yeah, but even, I it mean, worse. I downed aspirin and Tylenol yeah. dry all the time. Right. right. Uh, God bless him. He's no <laughs> yeah, me too. But, uh, yeah, I'm with you. But yeah, no, it, yeah. and it was a, yeah, chloroquine of some kind. Yeah. Because for malaria, because malaria fucking sucks. Yeah, it does, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. but then I stopped taking it anyway, so, because mm. it's just too gross. Well, speaking of gross, I don't know how that fits, but uh, 007, uh, Piers yeah. Brosnan himself, has been charged with a crime of trespassing by the National Park Service uh, over in Yellowstone National Park. I guess he's there filming yeah. a Western with uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh. Uh, I don't know much about the Western, but he walked into a restricted area where he went off the trail near the Mammoth Hot Springs. Has anybody been to Yellowstone? No. no. Uh, and I regret that I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those bucket lists. Yeah, things, no, it's but. amazing. And it's a giant it caldera, correct? It's Where it's a giant called? pimple on the face of the earth. Oh, to where right. sooner or later it's going to pop yeah, yeah, and like yeah. knock us partly out of our orbit. Man. It's like the power of the, Jeez. you know, the uh, subterranean volcano there is yeah. unfathomable. Like, like in that movie 2012, it was a mega volcano. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. There you go. That's where uh, Woody oh, yeah. was hanging out. Woody Harrelson. Right? Yeah. If you've oh, never seen yeah. that movie, if you've never seen that movie, I, I highly recommend it. It's so the waves good. as high as Everest. Yes. And stuff like that's great. Yeah. yeah. Really with the with the monk on the top of the mountain. But I mean. Uh, I don't know. That's great because that's what that movie's yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. That's it's supposed to be a was big. Was that a Michael Bay? No, kind of it's thing? the other. She, not Joel Schumacher. Who's the big uh, 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 not Roderick the Emerald or, oh, or, or I know what you're talking about. yeah Emerald Emerald, uh, Emerald yeah, uh, that guy yeah because he does those big splashy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just for fun. Yeah. It's just for fun, and that's great. Uh, well, the issue is that the ground can yeah. easily give way to the boiling hot acid pools beneath. So, Did he know he was I off mean, trail? I don't know. There's, huh. There wasn't much to the story. Yeah. He does have to go in February in front of a judge. It's oh, there you go. Roland right. Emmerich. Yes. That's the guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Geez, well, bummer. I mean, I, yeah. you know, I, I, mean, I get pissed when people go off trail. And the trails are there, there for a reason. Fucking yeah. 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 And, all and it's a national park. It's not his private property. He can buy. He's rich. Yeah. Buy yeah. your own private <laughs> get property. Get a big ass ranch. Yeah. 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 Well, it's like, it's like all those people right. that 
like to want to take pictures of themselves in the middle of like a field of flowers and they trample all, all the, flowers the flowers to yeah. get to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. There's or the a fine ones line. that go up There's to the buffalo. Line. Yeah. Those are yeah. my favorite well, when the buffalo just, uh, I mean, gnarls them. That's yeah. Yeah. Dude, okay. That's a Darwin fucking award so, there. It's like, what the fuck do you think year, is going to happen? Yeah. yeah. Last, last year, Marianne and Romeo uh, took uh, so me good. and some other family members out to the. Uh, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> There is an animal park out in Squim, Washington. Oh, yeah, no, it's fantastic with and, the waving uh, uh, bear. Yeah. Oh, it's great. And, uh, yeah. Oh, is yeah. that out there? It's just outside of PA or whatever. Yeah, it's, 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 it's in Squim, yeah. so yeah. No, okay. it is? It's just That's outside of Squim, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. no, I like, that place is great. And uh, yeah. so oh, yeah. I, the, the time that this happened, I didn't go. It was the time before. But they went and did this, and, the, and they had the windows down, and they were feeding, like, loaves uh Slices of loaf bread to like the the antelope, not antelope, uh, buffalo, and, and it was a buffalo. Yeah, yeah. Huge. so so and and like and and elk. There was it was I think it was the elk that did it. Uh, she was feeding them and and uh, and as she's reaching for some more bread. It hocked a loogie on her face. Oh, man. And she's like, you, can, you don't see it. It's off camera. All you hear is, it's in my mouth. <laughs> 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 and there's, uh, there's perms there's been, out there that would pay good money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah she just it. found her, yeah, her <laughs> squish video. <laughs> there's a video. <laughs> I posted the video because it was on her live on her no, live on. Uh, are you allowed to feed them yes yes you buy that, the, yeah oh you yeah, buy yeah. the loaves you buy the loaves yes, yes, okay the so you, yeah. you drive through yeah. in your car yeah drive through in animals, your car and the animals know at this point yeah oh, yeah. yeah no no they know, know that the no, car is like coming. literally waving you it's a delight i'm telling yeah. you yeah <laughs> come, <laughs> come here buddy <laughs> come here <laughs> and, and, yeah yeah it's short thin and tender you got any honey the bear the bear does that little chittery sound that cats make when they want to get the birds <laughs> over oh there. Oh my god, it's great. <laughs> it's a neat place, though. I mean, I yeah. you can you know you, you there's a big hill like there get their will. Yes, it, but it's the. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, with yeah. Northwest Trek, you're on a tram, you're right? On a tram, yeah. and you don't and you get can't to interact. Feed yeah, 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 this yeah. when you're in your car, yeah, uh-huh. and, you, and oh, yeah. you buy like loaves of bread from the park. It's, yeah, if you're ever up there with a kid, yeah, I go up yeah. probably two times a year for work. Yes, I have to go up to Port Townsend, yeah. Squim, Port up Angeles to the area. Yeah. So. I, we, we, I, could ro- we could always do oh, a road yeah. trip out to Squim and, and go do that. And I mean, it's Come deep, on, dude. give me a loogie. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I would expect that from like a llama <laughs> funny, or an alpaca or a hear, camel or something. But you can hear the animal yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe he just said, and then she goes, it's in my mouth. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. Oh, my God. She was actually uh, sick for a few days after that, too. Uh, oh, yeah. No, that would do it. Gross. Oh. It was a hilarious video, that's though. Fun. And an elk is big. Elk are bigger than people think. They oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and 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 only this. Uh, you don't want to take your 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 uh, your work vehicle to this. Because the chances of the animals like scratching or denting is is real. Because oh, they got some massive antlers too. Yeah, and they lean yeah, and, and they're yeah, big. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. you don't realize how big a a buffalo is until you're like no, six inches unreal. away from they're, them. They're they're, yeah. they're noggins. No, they're unreal. Dude. And their they're head, unreal. their oh, head yeah. is like this fucking big. Yeah, you no, know. No, they're and and, they're and they're when they're hungry, they're very aggressive. They're like, give me bread, man. I watched a video of a guy, and I don't know if it was in Yellowstone or outside of Yellowstone or what, but he's in his car, and there's a big elk on the road, and he's like inching towards it, like playing Toro, right? Yeah. Trying to get to get this thing to move, and the elk gets pissed and fucking gores his tire. Oh Just, man. <gasps> Yeah, and he's like, like, now what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, and then it scampers off. Yeah, it's like... You're stuck, bro. Ain't nobody coming to get you for like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, man. No, yeah, no, they're big. <laughs> oh, man. Well, speaking of <laughs> boiling hot acid pools, oh. uh, only in Florida. Uh, this happened actually a while ago, but the guy is just now suing. Uh, a toilet at a Dunkin' Donuts exploded in Winter Park, Florida. What do you mean exploded? I don't, I couldn't find anything else, yeah. but there was shards of the toilet. Oh, well, that's a, that is exploded. Not yeah. to mention feces and urine yeah. and everything oh, else that man. got all over him. Oh. Um, 
And I'm Dunkin not down Donuts. with OPP, yeah, which is other no. people's poop, dude. <laughs> yes. No. And he was injured. Uh, he goes out into the, <laughs> the restaurant, and he mentions it to an employer, tells an employee, God, that just blew up. And the employee's like, yeah, we've been having problems with that for a while. Oh, that's well, the Miss McGill there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the guy the is now suing for a hundred an hour. So, I don't know. So, so did someone just drop a deuce that was so big that caused it to I, back up and what explode? Could, what could cause a toilet to explode? An M80. Well, I know, yeah, yeah, but... Yeah, 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 but uh, like natural causes? I don't know, like a methane? I don't know, because methane doesn't expand on its own without something catching on fire right. or something. And maybe this guy was lighting a cigarette while he was taking a dump? The, where's I don't the know. pressure from? Like, That's I can see I breaking. Figure out. Porcelain things can break. I've yeah. had, I've installed toilets that had flaws coming off, because they're just cast, right? right? Uh and they get flaws in them, yeah. right? It's like, because it's some molds and molds fuck up. But uh, I found the video, if you guys want to see it. Of this guy? Oh, no, of, of Marianne in the, in the Buffalo. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt the conversation about the, the, the exploding, exploding toilet. toilet. Yeah, yeah, we're having it some, uh, <laughs> some dignified <laughs> chit chat over here. But here, <laughs> turn the volume back up on the phone. Poor over there. Man. Look over oh. here. Oh. Oh, no, that's a Buffalo. Oh. Look at this in front of me. Uh, uh, and they're like still coming. They are still coming. They're like, be like, get out the way, goddamn it! I'm fucking. On this up, little big tiny baby. baby. Oh, balls. hey. Ah! Oh! oh! He snotted in my mouth. Yeah, I think he sneezed. He snotted in my mouth. Ah! 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 He blew snot, and it ended up in my mouth. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Who's driving? <laughs> who's filming? Romeo is, is driving. Marianne is filming. Okay, that's why she's not turning it on herself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Marianne. Uh, yeah, no, that's. Yes. I oh, mean, I, I forgot it was a species. I, I thought he talked a little, but yeah. <laughs> either way, it's gross. No, yeah. That or, yeah, that's a better. Ah. <laughs> well, speaking of toilets and fast food, yep. uh, I'm not a big McDonald's guy, but McDonald's is changing up their beef. And they're Again? not changing the beef. What they're doing is they're changing the way they prepare it to make the sandwiches better and to, everything to taste better. Does it taste like cardboard? And I don't know. And uh, I haven't eaten beef since '96. And in there, but didn't I thought theirs came from the pink ooze or something? Remember, no, there was a big controversy that about been that. The, the chicken nuggets, but I think that's bullshit, right? Uh, I think that was that was yeah. That was a scare. I don't think it's that something. thing. Yeah. But uh, the uh, Chris Young, who's McDonald's senior director of global menu strategy, oh, probably gets God. paid a lot of money for that. Oh, I bet he does. He sort of admitted that it's not. <laughs> great he said we can do it quick fast and safe but it doesn't necessarily taste great so we want to incorporate quality into where we're at it's like oh, you just admit it so i guess what they're going to do is uh when they cook, well he's not lying when right? they cook yeah. the beef patties they put it in some kind of machine and they put six patties in and it it's a clam shell grill them. like a like a foreman and it pressure oh, cooks them sure so now they're going to remove two of the patties and only cook it's like they did eight now they're only going to do six or they yeah. did six and now they're only going to do four which is supposed to i don't know put more pressure on the rest of them i don't understand how the I don't technology know. I, works i mean it's the last time i worked at mcdonald's was early 90s and back then they had the clamshell grill which was essentially what the foreman is Gotcha. You know, and that's how it's cooked. It cooks both sides at the same time. Yeah, I worked there for like four hours back in 1989, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still it. waiting yeah. for you to come I, back. I, yeah, yeah. they still owe me some money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in '89, I think they they still had this. They still had the grill. Yeah. They had but a regular I mean, is there, grill. Is there, yeah. I don't know if anybody here knows this, but I mean, because it's ground beef, and when you go to the store and you buy ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey, ground whatever, typically it's muscle tissue and whatever you know else fell in there at the time right right but the mcdonald's thing is it that or is it just a paste made I think, up no of i think it's beef ground beef product. but they're frozen okay. they're pre-made they're, they're, they're right frozen. Okay. They're, they're like the pre-made patties you can get at walmart or wherever right, but it is 100 percent beef but yeah something. they're they're also like they're super Ounce. they're super thin so when you cook them down they, they come they cook down to about that big cook, cook fast right and they're cooked quick yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so some of the other things huh. they're going to do is they're going to go with a large Larger bun oh, on the bottom, right. which is supposed to trap in more heat. Hmm. Makes so. a lot of like that. <laughs> he likes big bottom buns. And yeah. they're gonna get, and I don't know how you get I, this, but they're gonna get sorry. a meltier. 
They're going to get a meltier cheese. Well, because it's not cheese. Is that a C H E E Z? It's what be. that is. And like, is, is. You can make a fountain it, with fucking cheese, but it's it, not does, cheese. Does the cheese good, come though. from a can or does it yeah. come off of a brick? Yeah. It's better cheese, meltier cheese. Uh-huh. So I guess you're not getting like cold cheese on your yeah. sandwich. Yeah. And then better vegetables. They're going to get well, thicker. You know, if, if, they, if they put the cheese on the on the if they had a normal grill, if they put the cheese on top of the the patty when it's still cooking, it will melt right onto the patty. Yeah, if you throw it on there after, after, yeah. after you take the patty off the the grill, and that's when you throw on the condiments. That's where it starts to cool off, and that's when the the it takes a minute or two for the cheese to melt onto a burger. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Yeah. And that's why you keep it on the heat. Unless it, they open up the clamshell, drop the cheese on it, let it sit there for another yeah. 30 seconds or yeah, something. I don't, I don't know. know. But, I mean, I yeah, know. It, it, the only way to get it to really be melty is have Velveeta. You know, and that's gross. Or something like some type of process. I mean, they they, yeah. they use they use you know, like American. Yeah, but it is a type of process. Well, cheese, they they, but, they use yeah. the the American cheese uh, singles. Yeah. Is you know the cheese for them. No, and, and we really ought to fight back against that. <laughs> Americans have all kinds of cheese. You know what I mean? Oh, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't want people in fancy yeah. France, you know, Thinking going, that's our American cheese, <laughs> or whatever the didn't, fuck. Didn't like, we do cheddar? Isn't cheddar ours? Uh, I'm gonna, I don't I'm know this, America. but fucking yeah. it is. God I, damn right it I is. Was, it, was I the only one who was mad that, that Subway got rid of, like, the cheddar cheese? And who then, gets rid of cheddar cheese? And then, and then gets Subway, rid of the... Subway, you're dead to me. And then, and then gets rid of the, uh, the shredded cheddar that they had as well. So uh, We call it shredder. <laughs> Did you know? Here's a little bit of trivia for you. The shredder was actually was created because they thought it'd be funny to make a, a villain out of a a cheese grater. Oh, nice. Yeah, he yeah. does have sharp things on. Yeah, him. yeah. So it's initially yeah. when they drew him, he had like the he had like you know those square uh, things for sh- shredding cheese. Oh yeah, no, it's great. He had those on. He had yeah. those as gauntlets. Nice. I wouldn't want to fight a guy Shredder. Friggin'. Uh-huh. I guess you could. He would have to get really close. Yeah, it's, He'd it's have to make contact. Thing. Yeah, yeah. But, but, so well, just think of like you're punching at the guy and he blocks it with yeah, one of those yeah, cheese yeah, 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 no, and it uh, gnarls yeah. up your your knuckles. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. That's why he's that. the villain, Babel. Man, I really like the McDonald's fish sandwich, though. That's kind of my go-to. The, yeah. uh, I, uh, what's they call them? Fish fillet. It's the fish fillet. fillet. The fillet, 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 fillet of fish. fish. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, it's so good. The, the, yeah. and the, 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 the chicken sandwiches are pretty good too, actually. Dude. But uh, uh, lately, it's been it's been the Big Mac for me. Right on. But Jeez, that's only that's McDonald's only because they have the, the adult. Happy Meal right now, huh. which is you know it's a Big Mac meal and a toy. What kind of toy? Uh, it's a little a little uh, uh, chicken nugget action figure. <laughs> so oh, so nice. think, think think of think of Mr. Potato Head, but a chicken nugget. Huh. Nice. Does it? You can remove the eyes. No, but you, the hat, uh, the no, hat, the, the body. Now. Okay, you just, can take you can take the hat off and take the body off, and it's just a little nugget. Okay. Do they have multiple different ones? They have different ones, and I've I've gotten like four out of the eight, oh, and man. I've gotten a couple of duplicates. So all right, <laughs> all right. Well, speaking of fish sandwich, uh, yeah. we talked a couple of weeks ago the uh, radio shake up in Seattle. A couple oh, yeah. of the big time Danny Bonaducci yeah. retired, retiring, yeah. and BJ ended up leaving KSW and took Danny's spot at KZOK. Yeah, might have figured out why. I didn't listen to his first uh, BJ's first show. Which was uh, Monday, I think. This last Monday, yeah. Uh, but I hear that Odyssey, the parent company of mm. KSW, The End, The Wolf, right. uh, a couple others, uh, Moving 103.7, um, they're actually getting ready to file bankruptcy. Wow. So oh. it might be the only thing I can, you know, conjecture from my, on my part is that, you know, they couldn't afford BJ anymore and they probably the How in the fuck do you own five radio stations in just no, this several, market? Oh, yeah, I know. That used to be illegal. Yeah, right up until yeah, the Bill yeah. Clinton years. Really Bill Clinton did, did that. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it's madness. Yeah. Yeah. Because there it, was a limit on how many radio stations, newspapers, yeah. any kind of media. Yes. You could TV stations. You could do like three in Something market, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Some like combination. You couldn't can, can control the narrative. Yes. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and I remember we were like, there's 83 companies that control 90% of the media or something. It's like, now it's like two. Yeah. Three. You know what I yeah, mean? Two or three. Like, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, it's like it's, it's Disney and it's like Turner, I think, isn't it? Uh, is it yeah, Turner? I don't know. It might be. 
yeah. for a newspaper. Or something? I don't know. It's I mean, like for the, for news, like uh, uh, no, not turn oh, period. It's uh, uh, so it's like what's uh, uh news corp boxes. for one that's parent news corp yeah no that guy's parent a company. fucking yeah. well, terrible well, name. well but uh and, but we it just shouldn't be allowed we we allowed them to write the rules of engagement yes. which is ridiculous yeah. it just should not be allowed because it, obviously you know this type of polarization and manipulation is the result yeah. think yeah. it kindly no doy no <laughs> doy Jeez. Uh, well, uh, we did have a couple of celebrity nope. deaths this uh, week. I had to Google her. I don't don't remember yes, her name. I, when it came up and I saw her picture, I'm like, oh, that's that's her. Uh, Cindy Morgan, uh, She her very first acting role in a movie was Caddyshack. And huh. she was Chevy Chase's love interest, Ted Knight's uh, oh. granddaughter or daughter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She was the blonde, the hot blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was her very first uh, film role. Yes. Uh, before that, she was a model and she was a Irish Spring soap, uh, huh. you know, commercial yeah. gal. Uh, Jeez. Still it's a not model. a bad gig. I would take that gig all day, too. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was her first. And then she did Tron. She was. Oh, the she's the female lead in Tron. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, and she didn't do. I think she did a lot of episodic TV. And that's the Bruce Boxletter or whatever. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 She's well. I remember thinking of her fondly at the time. Yes. I mean, she was yeah. a very attractive young yeah. lady at that point. Uh, she died at sixty nine. Oh, jeez. Which sixty nine, dude? Uh, well, <laughs> I wonder if she was a smoker or something. I don't know. Uh, it was natural causes, what they say. Hmm. Her roommate came home, and uh, her roommate had gone on vacation or something. Came oh, home, yeah. and there was an odor. Uh, and knocked on right. the door, and she was dead in bed and mm. all that kind of stuff, which sucks. Um, her recent uh, foray, she was popular with golfers because of Caddyshack. Uh, so she was able to go to like golfing conventions do and, the circuit, and yeah. do the circuit, man, and sign autographs and take pictures and all yeah, that that's stuff. That's kind of a. So that's pretty uh, cool, yeah. right? Huh. Yeah, well, I'm so, sorry she died alone. Yeah, she, I mean, that's a drag. I don't remember her being, I remember her being a big part of that movie. I don't remember her being like, you know, Chevy Chase or Bill Murray level. Sure, but um, I had also, that wasn't their first rodeo. No. If that's her first, like, and I really don't think that male actors in that film are letting some breakout chick in over, her first over, film. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're not playing second banana. Well, she remembers yeah. it fondly. She did, yeah. and oh, I don't know the quote, but she said, you know, I, <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> she said uh, the, it was a great experience, and it was her first film, and she thought it was going to be about caddies, but it ended up being more about, you know, the Chevy Chase stuff oh, and all that. Oh, my but God. It's so good. She remembered it fondly and had a great time on it. Oh, so. It's got it all. It's got it all. I think it does have it all. Uh, and another death, and this is a one of a guy I haven't thought about in years, but David Soul passed hmm. away at eighty. Uh, David Jeez. Soul that was the uh, was he Starch, Starsky I or Hutch? Hutch? Was yeah. he Hutch? And he also had a singing career. He had degree. a big singing yeah. career. Yeah. Um, he had albums uh, that went number one in songs. That Did not know that in the UK. He was very popular. In fact, he was so popular in the UK that I, and he married a gal from uh, the UK. But he got dual citizenship there. Oh, nice, but he nice. had a whole yeah. string of, of top ten hits in the UK. Jeez, did not I know think it. in the seventies and eighties. So. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember him having like a singing career oh, back yeah, in the day. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't think it was my thing. It was kind of an easy listen. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I know, I know he was in uh, Magnum Force with uh, Clint Eastwood. Um, he was one of the. I don't know oh, if you yeah. remember that movie. Yeah. There was a group of cops that were uh, vigilante cops. Mm-hmm. They were all motorcycle cops. And he was one of those, along with a young uh, Ulrich. Uh, uh, what's his first name? Uh, the guy that was in uh, oh, uh, Spencer for Hire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Robert. Robert Ulrich. Yeah. yeah. Man, and yeah. Ice Pirates. Don't forget. In Ice Pirates. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, hey, wasn't he also in uh, in uh, Buck Rogers? Wasn't that? Him? No, that was. Uh, wasn't that? Wasn't that Robert yeah. Ulrich? No. Uh, God, who's that guy? Well, uh, it was Aaron Gray. Yeah. Oh, oh. I mean, as long as we're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as we're on. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, but David Soul. Hi, I Aaron mean, Gray. She's still yeah. around? I yep. think she's completely is. off topic. She's in her uh, late yeah. 60s, I think. Yeah. But yeah. But she was Silver Spoons. Yep. Oh, that's stuff. Right. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. Hopefully, she'll be at a summer con or something, man. That'd, That'd be great. That'd be fun. Yeah. 
Uh, you go, hey, we hung out with Jesse the body. Yeah. We, we, we totally deserve to hang out there. Come on. Uh, can you give us 20 minutes? Yeah. Can we talk about conspiracy theories? Oh, that theories was Gil, with you? Gil Gerard. Is who, yes. yes. I, I get those two guys confused sometimes. Yeah, I mean, good looking brown hair. Sure. So his middle yeah. part. Oh, yeah, very no. sim- very yeah. similar yeah. style. Yeah. Face. So rest in peace to rest Cindy peace, Morgan and yeah. David Soul. Yeah. Uh, David Soul, he was in Starsky and Hutch. That he was the yes, blonde guy. He right? was the blonde yeah. guy in Starsky and Hutch. That was. Which I don't even know how many seasons that was, but I it kind of like lived four on. Seasons. Yeah, it yeah. lived on and on. Yeah, yeah. Everybody liked that car. And, and he and the yes. other guy had cameos at the end of the movie. Oh, the one with uh, oh, sure. Stiller and yeah. Owens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and where uh, yeah. and where uh, um, Stiller Stiller was buying a, another one of those cars, the Gran Torino from the original guy from the yeah, series. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, it was a cool car. When I had my Roadrunner, it had a similar stripe on it. That's Everybody's cool. like, "Oh, you got to start in." Like, no, that's a Ford. <laughs> yeah, Roadrunners are bad. Yes. I got a. I, I do like Gran Torino, but that was far. Yeah. That, that was after smog stuff, though. Yes. Right. So they went from like yeah. two hundred thirty horsepower stock to like hundred and thirty. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, like the seventy five yeah. or seventy six. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No, it's like breaking the legs of a baby. It's yeah. like. What? <laughs> yeah, can't do that to American V8s, man. They did it with no warning. <laughs> yeah, when I bought my Roadrunner, somebody had pulled the 73 400 out of it, the 400 uh, cubic inch motor, and put a 69, yes. 1969 440. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, so they had the, the Hazard engine. I had the big had mojo. Oh, yeah. Lots of torque. Out of that. Tons of torque, man. <laughs> yeah, the no, that's thing it. Would just oh, they're cool cars, yeah, man. They are. Yeah, they're dead, dead. Oh. But they're wonderful. Yeah. Well, you boys want to get old? Uh, we're already old. <laughs> I know. This will just reinforce this, it. This so, will yeah, just remind us of how yeah. old we are. I found are. an article. It was more like a slideshow, but it was stuff that happened 30 years ago in Three 1994. Decades. Three decades. 94. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so here's uh, the first one. In January of 94, NAFTA goes into effect. Yeah. Do you remember how everybody was like... Yeah, it's Bill sound. Clinton, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it opened up the borders between Canada, Mexico, and Did the United it, isn't States. Isn't that when we had the, the, the first big riot here in Seattle was because of NAFTA? Wasn't that NAFTA? No, that was, that the, was WTO, yeah. but uh, World Trade Organization. Yeah, I don't think anybody no, violently opposed NAFTA. No, it was like, it was like the NAFTA, mid to late 90s, and it was... No, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a different thing. I was still a driver at that point, so that had to have been like 93, 94. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know someone know. who was, oh, yeah, well, I know someone that, who went down there know, to protest. I'm not, I mean, I get that free trade agreements really have raised, the, I, I mean, arguably have raised living standards in a lot of places for a lot of human beings. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the, that's the argument. But I think they were done in such a way as that labor was not... <laughs> Included yes. in that necessarily, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It was great for the people yeah. that you know didn't have to pay tariffs on their yeah. goods going back and forth, yeah. but it didn't necessarily help the people building. It was, it stuff. was much better for ownership class yes. than for working class, yeah. and there were no like. Nobody really thinks about just because we can get widgets. Do we really need widgets? Yeah. But people wanted them anyway. I don't know. I've gone back and forth on this subject in my head a lot, right? Because know. you know the factory jobs in Vietnam and such made Vietnam a much, in a lot of ways, better place. But there's also way more pollution now. Yes. You know what I mean? Meh. So it's like there. We just can't pretend that there's not a trade-off for this lifestyle. Right. Right. And I'm glad that. You know, people have electricity and shit, and in a lot more cases, they got clean water and blah, 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 blah. But was that going to happen anyway? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I right? I just got a notification that the, sh- the TV show Resident Alien is getting the season three premiere in 35 oh, okay. days. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I'm Alex. Alan Tudyk is awesome in that show. working. Working, working. Uh, also in January, January 6th, Nancy Kerrigan got oh, the Luli. Yeah. Do you remember wow. that? I do. Uh, when yeah. Tanya Harding's... Uh, Why go- me? 
<laughs> yeah. Galuli? What the fuck is that? His, so his name Jeff was Galuli. Yeah. Was the guy that oh, did the did the, oh, yeah. did the pipe swinging, right? Galuli. Wasn't it like a metal yeah. pipe or something? That yeah, I think it, was, it was. Yeah. It was. It was. It was one of those. Because uh, yeah, she was a, like a hundred pound woman. Yes, a it, young it, lady. Anyway, it, right? I don't even know how old she was. It was one of those. It was one of those. It was one of those flashlights that security guards usually carry. Oh, is that what it was? A mag light. Yeah, yeah. Better or worse? Those are hard. Yeah. Got huh. got your shin knocked knocked she loose. She ended up getting silver though, which is a badass. Which right? one, uh, Kerrigan? Didn't Kerrigan silver? Fought through the th- fought through the pain. Did she? I don't know. I I, oh. I don't follow. I feel like I that just happened. remember that was just the yeah. huge all, ass news. Yeah, all I nuts. know is that is the other one is now does a lot of reality TV shows. Tanya Harding. Oh, yeah, no, she did. Yeah, pretty immediately after. She actually she, did. She came up kind of rough and. You know what I mean? Kind of poor and stuff like that. And she felt resentments against rich people or some shit. I don't know. She excused it in her mind a lot. And she did some of the celebrity boxing matches. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Well, she was she was on that uh, World's Dumbest with with, with uh, Don Bonaduce. Oh, okay. Uh, I th- uh, yeah. yeah. I think she box the other Bonaduce. Right? <laughs> well, it, and, and that, that show was basically, they showed like, like uh, video clips of people doing absolutely bonkers with these stupid <laughs> shit. And then, like, commentary was done by comedians and former celebrities. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Did she know about it? I can't remember now. Because was yeah, it the, conspiracy? The, yeah, she says, I think she said she didn't. But obviously her ex-husband, I don't know if it was her husband at the time, but the, the whole goal was to he take was her Nancy boyfriend or something out. To give so her a better chance to make it in. Yeah. To make, yeah. yeah. Because, oh, I mean, there shitty. was a lot yeah. of money oh, yeah. in, you know, endorsement deals. Sure. And all that stuff. So yeah. and sabotage is weird, man. Remember yeah. when the Raj Nish people put salmonella all over the salad bar that the uh, city council goes to? Oh, down in Oregon. Yeah, it was seminar yeah. or something similar, yeah, just yeah, to yeah, give yeah. everybody the runs yeah. or whatever. It's like it's yeah. a dick move, man. Yeah. It's like yeah, they took I don't know, over that some town. big dude club some little lady is kind of shitty, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 I don't know. I just, any any big person taking out a smaller person in general is it's pretty, kind of a dick move. It's yeah. very much a dick move. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Well, uh, in March, oh. uh, Steven Spielberg finally oh. won a couple of Oscars for Schindler's List. I still have yet to see that movie. Oh, it's gnarly. Oh, it's it's it, everybody does a good job. Ray it's Fiennes is fucking gnarly. Massively yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cinematography, acting, oh, yeah. no, feels, it, it, it the gets whole you, thing. It gets you, but it is. Yeah, it is. It, so it's it, you, you want to be. You should a, watch Schindler's List the musical. <laughs> so what you're saying is watch it when you have. Hey. <laughs> Never mind. It's rough. It really is. I'm over it. Huh. Over the movie. I'm just. I don't. Yeah. I've, I've been trying to say something for the past couple minutes, but it doesn't matter. All right. What's the next topic? All right. Well, Kurt Cobain was found dead April 5th of 1994. And I remember that, Mike, uh, when that happened, a bunch of us were up, I think it's Susie's house. Yeah, she's May. getting ready to have a baby. Yeah. Was that when Jupe was? Yeah. So were you guys, yeah. you guys were still living there together then? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just remember sitting in the back, everybody was kind of sitting around just friggin' dumbfounded, right? Yeah. Just, it was crazy. It was a nutsy time, uh, but yeah, found dead in his uh, like apartment above his garage or something. Yeah, right. I remember everybody was really sad about that. Yeah, and everybody, uh, I don't know, still blames Courtney. I mean, there famously there was a a guy on local public access who had a show called Kurt Cobain was murdered. Yeah, no, Richard know? Lee. I watched it religiously. Yeah, yeah. and he was. Absolutely bonkers. I, 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 I just, I, I think he was like hyper focusing on something that. Yeah, he was definitely hyper. And, uh, and he just needed to let go of it, and he and never she did. Sued him, right? Yeah. Or well, he, he was, he was harassing her at one point. Yeah. I don't like the woman, but I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't, I didn't watch his. He did. I don't. He made some compelling points, but he also would ram it. Just. <laughs> There was, he was he was yeah. conspiracy nut is what he was. Yeah, there's some weird shenanigans though. It's weird, but people get depressed. People, I mean, he yeah. he 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 was he was bipolar if I recall, 
and he wasn't really managing his 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 self with with any kind of medication other than self medicated self medicated stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and he shows up in Tannis the the uh, suicide. It's uh, another one of those things that Tannis uh, that we've been yeah, listening yeah. to doesn't go I, uh, far enough on. But I remember being in the in the, uh, the bu- local bulletin boards, which was be pre-internet days, you know, going online on a local system. And there was an image going around the boards that was supposedly, like, a picture of Kurt after the fact. Oh. And, like... Yeah, didn't the newspaper... And I had this... I think I saved the front page for a while. Didn't it... It showed... Maybe it just showed, like, the cops going in and out of the the loft area that he was in. Hmm. Did it show, like, like, his legs? Like, his body body? It showed, like, his head. Oh, that's oh, terrible. jeez. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Uh, like, I, a, like I, he I, got uh, uh, leaked from the medical examiner or something? Pro- probably. I don't know. I, all I remember is, like, I saw the image once. I was like, does that really look like a head? I don't know. And I oh, just kind of, like, I, I, I looked at it once and deleted it. Yeah. Didn't I, care. I remember, and it's, it just may be in my head, that I see his legs. Right? Mm-hmm. Or his, like, yeah, I don't remember. knee to his feet. Yeah, I after, think that was in the papers. Was that in the paper? I think that was. Because that just sticks the out. Im- to the me. image I saw was not his legs. It was his yeah, head. Yeah. So, huh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it could just be a That's Mandela effect, because Nelson Mandela was elected president of South Africa in April, uh, April 27th of well, 94. Was he? Was he? Was yeah. He? Um, he after 27 years in prison? In prison. Yeah. yeah, and he'd been released, I think, two or three years before this, and worked really hard to get rid of apart- apartheid, and uh, yeah. once they finally opened up the elections to everybody, I mean, he was overwhelmingly elected, because yeah. the majority there is uh is uh and he was a well respected figure yes sort of thing. yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he wasn't a you know game show host or a reality tv host like some presidents <laughs> we know yeah oh man yeah god man. i wish i wish we could say that he was a, a mandela effect and he really was it didn't president. actually happen it didn't actually happen yeah. that'd be great todd yeah geez yeah 30 years ago 30 years ago 30 years ago uh june no 15th way. you might remember a little uh low speed car chase with a white bronco and oj simpson uh what was it al cowling driving and oj was in the back threatening to shoot himself or something wasn't that the yeah, i, I remember him a- laying down in the back of the yeah. of the bronco and i, I remember seeing the the chase because i was working at the qfc on mercer island on the north end of the island and they had uh, the like living room area, like with TV in, in the lobby, and everybody was sitting in that in those couches and those chairs watching the news, and it was on it all day. Yeah. And by the time oh, I yeah, started my focus. shift, by the time I was done, it was still on the TV. And didn't we say Domino's? At one point, we talked about Domino's made like a ton of money because everybody didn't want to oh, unglue themselves yeah. and make dinner, so they ordered a shit ton of pizza, and Domino's yeah, took off. Because of that, I, yeah, I could see yeah, that being a good, thing. The good thing, yeah, happened. I don't remember him saying he had a firearm or was he had a gun. Him. Or Al Cowling was like they were telling him, and he was like, "Oh, he just wants to kill himself." But in the car, he had like an overnight bag with clothes and his yeah. toothbrush and shit like that. It's like, no, he wasn't. You don't pack a toothbrush to go kill yourself, right? Oh, sure. I mean, you yeah. were trying to get weird. away. He oh, was yeah. trying yeah, yeah, to get away. They're trying every single thing I mean, on, you know. I mean, he may have, he may have had a, a, a uh, what they call those, uh, uh, um, a ditch bag or whatever they're called. Yeah, it's it's a bug, out bag. bug out bag. Bug out bag, that's yeah. what it was. He may have had a bug out bag just in case, you know, because he knew that he was going to be chased down by the cop. Murdering his old lady. And yeah. yeah. But he also, and, 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 and he may have been like having some remorse and, or just thoughts of depression and whatnot mm. on top of that. Sure. So, Man. It's possible. I mean, yeah. it doesn't make him any less guilty, but, you know, it's possible. Yeah. The whole scenario was bonkers. Just, yeah. Crazy. But it's just weird that LAPD followed him and knew he had a firearm and still didn't shoot him, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, what's the, I don't know what the protocol is. Or something. I, I, I think know. because he was a celebrity and yeah. not just a random dude huh. is the only reason why he didn't get, like, they didn't, like, chase him down, just, you know, ram the truck oh, and then yeah. drag him out of the car. And yeah, and I don't think he was, because thr- it was low speed, right? So yeah. it wasn't like he was, you know, creating yeah. a... 
yeah. public danger. He was he was going the speed limit yeah, from what I recall. Just call. road raging. <laughs> Get out of the fucking left lane. Were there people like bag? along the along the parade route, if you will, holding up signs and waving? I don't remember. That. Yeah, oh I, I do remember it's that. Yeah. That's, I don't know. Go, I mean, obviously, juice, he wasn't go. convicted of doing it, but I'm pretty fucking sure he did it. Yeah, I think the and, whole uh, world is pretty sure he didn't do it, <laughs> oh, except man. for those twelve jurors. You know. Jeez. Yeah, and I don't know. That's the idea of reasonable doubt. And he had a lawyer that was just like, oh, he had a the dream. You know what I mean? It really just was, yeah, right? we can we can oh, blame Kim Kardashian's dad for that. Uh, the whole for thing a, several just, things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's insane. It's insane. <laughs> well, because the, I, I mean, there's dudes, and I, I saw a buddy of mine this week who did 11 years for what I would call self-defense, man. Oh, he he got jumped and ended up stabbing a dude, and the dude died. But uh, he Is didn't start kind of the like fight. A, yeah. A con Air kind of thing? I've never seen Con Air, uh, but he, he got okay. 11 years for it, man. Yeah. And yeah. that seemed not okay. Jeez. Well, yeah. I mean, I remember someone telling me years ago that... If someone breaks into your house in Washington State, shoot to kill. Don't shoot to wound because they can they can sue you for for shooting them and make claims that maybe not. Yeah, true. I mean, not even just make claims, just the fact that they got yeah. shot on your property. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and don't have a gun or use a gun if it's not for lethal force. You can't. The chance of wounding, wounding somebody, somebody effectively with a gun is very low. Anyway, they're meant for Shut a them in the leg. <laughs> Right, it's really hard to do so. Yeah, really, especially in tense situations. You know, yeah. when you, you just so, to... if somebody breaks into your house, by all means, three to the test. You know, yeah, I, you know, I got this this <laughs> the, this AR-15 just to wing people if they it's break into my house. It's really difficult. It really yeah. is. And if somebody is, if it's a home invasion, Robert, where they know your home, right? The the it's on. It's on. Don't pretend it's not because. Yeah. It's going to get worse from that point on. Right? Buckshot. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> just yeah. have, have a, have a yeah. paintball marker and just shoot the crap out of the uh, recruiter. That does right hurt like the a mother. The nad sack. Oh, yeah. yeah. 12 yeah. to the nuts. Turn that pressure up. <laughs> shoot him in the face a couple times. Shoot him in the nuts. <laughs> yeah. The net, the net. Well, uh, happier times, guys. Oh. Uh, the Lion King was released uh. on June fifteenth, and it was the biggest movie of the year. Huh. Made the most money, anyway. Uh, ah, Savannah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the circle of life, <laughs> the right? Circle of the life. Circle yeah. of I, I, as far as Disney movies, that is one of my favorites. Right, I've never yeah. actually seen yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, people, I love saw it. it right here in this building. That's uh, cool. For probably a buck fifty or yeah. two bucks. At the Rocks here at the Renton. I think it was. I always think it's here, but it might be. I bet it was. It's probably across the street yeah. when it was when it was still the Roxy. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, it was here, and it was uh, called. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. lion, the lion, the Lion King and yeah. his slave girls. Oh my God! Something <laughs> when it was the porn theater here in yeah. the, uh, Great Red and Civic. Did theater. we already just gloss over Jeff Bezos in the World Series, and I just missed it. Uh, we haven't got down nope, there yet. Nope. Well, you just talked about The Lion King. I did. Yeah, that's one. But uh, I wanted to talk about some of the other movies that came out that year, if you guys don't mind. Yeah. There was a ton of cool movies uh, that came out. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Uh, forgot one, The Mask. Yeah. The uh, Mask, yeah. Such a good movie. Dumb and Dumber. Also a good movie. I mean, yeah. they're they're goofy and they're silly, but I like. Yeah, it made me laugh. Yeah, Forrest oh, yeah. Gump was ninety four. <laughs> My uncle worked on that one. Uh, yeah. The Flintstones, the Santa Claus, the first one they're still making, right, Todd? The the newest one came out this year, right? Uh, well, the, it became a TV series. Oh, it's a TV oh. series. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, the same. Santa same Cla- uh, the Santa Clauses, and it's it's season two came out this year. That's oh, Tim, okay. uh, Tim Allen, right? Tim Allen, yeah. Huh. Season two had um, had um, uh, Fluffy join the cast, and he's like a runs like a like a Santa Claus village kind of thing year round, and yeah, it's it's a hmm. fun it's just a fun series. All right, it's on, it's on Disney Plus if you haven't seen it. I know this is the wrong movie, but I am an FBI agent. <laughs> was uh, Speed came out? Remember Speed? Oh with yeah, the bow? Was huge. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the bad guy? Uh, Hot quiz, Hot Shot, Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper, the bad guy. Yeah. Uh, man, uh, the Shawshank Redemption. Oh, that's a good movie. I have a movie poster signed by multiple members of the cast at my house. That's nice. A, awesome. I haven't movie. seen that one either. You haven't it's seen Shawshank? Movie. Yeah. No. Oh, do do do. See that uh ace ventura this was a year for uh 
Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, oh, right? Yeah. No, I, I think Dumb and Dumber and Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura made me laugh. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. I mean, I, I just laughed. You go and laughed digging in the mud. Oh, head. and the mask. Yeah, yeah the that's mask? a great year for that guy. And Dumb yeah. and Dumber. Yeah, yeah. yeah, three movies. Yeah, it's crazy. All in the same year. All huge movies. Too. It, made, it made him. It made him a billion. Um, well, yeah, not a billionaire, but a millionaire, multi-millionaire. Yeah, yeah. and a, a A-list movie star for sure. Yeah, and uh, Cameron Diaz dancing in the mask is yeah. that was her first movie. Oh, she does a great yeah. job. Yeah. It's really neat. Yeah. yeah, she's just elegant and radiant and cool. <laughs> and one that I know Mike and I saw in the theater with our respective significant others and yeah. your and like newborn day year old kid, baby, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the crow, the crow. Uh, we oh, go wow. to like Tukwila Theater or something, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember seeing that. That's movie. a good movie. It's a really good movie. Is Julia Lewis in that? No, uh, no. no. Uh, who's the? It's the bad guy. Is cool. It's the same bad guy as Michael uh, yeah, Wincott. He's cool. Uh, yeah. Was the main bad guy? Uh, yes. Was it? Does he have a, a, a femme fatale in there? Yeah, and that's uh, Bin uh, uh, Bin something or other. Oh, his Bin, sister, uh, Bin Lau, or Bin Lau, Bing, Lau Ling. Bing Ling, or something like that. Oh yeah, no, yeah, she's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, there was a little girl. Yeah. Um, you don't see his girlfriend. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Shelly. You don't okay. see her yeah. too much in the movie. Yeah, no, I'm not a big Bai name Lang. star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Bai Ling, yeah, yeah she's, she's cool. the bad girl or uh-huh. the bad person. Uh, yeah, just a great, uh, great. Yeah, movie. geez, I wouldn't mind revisiting that film. It's yeah. got to be on. Have it on DVD. I uh, I have it on my Plex server if you yeah. want to watch it. Yeah, so. I wasn't able to. No, I mean, never mind. We'll talk what? about that. After. Okay. <laughs> you, <laughs> well, but if you have trouble getting into it, it may have been that my computer was turned off. It, it randomly turns itself off. Huh. Uh, also in '94, one of our favorites, uh, Clerks, uh, very oh, first movie geez. from uh, Kevin, Kevin Smith. Smith. Yeah. Jeez, that's great! Yeah. Thirty years. Thirty years. That's his man. first. Uh, yeah. That's his breakout film. That's his huh. very yeah. first. I, I'm surprised he does. He hasn't tried to reacquire the rights to that movie. Uh, who owns it? Weinstein. Uh, Miramax. Miramax. Yeah. 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 Uh, also that year, Natural Born Killers with Woody yeah. Harrelson. That's another the Juliet Lewis. Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah, another that's one I have never yeah. seen. Oh, fuck, it's rough. A friggin' uh, Rodney Dangerfield yeah. in that. The Bob, dad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's too much. He's gross. Uh, Arnold came to us with uh, what's her face in True Lies. True Lies. Some uh, of the best practical effects. Jamie Lee Curtis. I saw them uh, doing that. They actually built that causeway. It's, it's like insane. a small. It's insane. Because I mean, I, 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 I thought that was an actual like. It may be, but they, I know they built a small replica, like a one something oh, scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's big, though. I mean, it's a big scale. That's a James Cameron, too, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No, it, it, had, it also had yeah. uh, Tom Arnold in it, too. That's right. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, they made that into a TV series, and it only oh. lasted one season. Oh. Oh, did, oh, that's right. That was this year, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. It was, it, it's, it's not... The, I mean, it was... The, the series itself was, was not bad, but it wasn't like, oh, my God, this is amazing. You should watch this. Uh, fair enough. You know? Yeah. Uh, here's one that... Uh, the only reason... Because it's so bad. It's such a bad movie. The only reason I mention it is because it was filmed in Seattle. Uh, but the, Disclosure... My mom watched some film, some of that, because oh, she, they, she was working at the Smith Tower at the time. Oh, geez. nice! And uh, she ran into um, to um, dude from that movie, Michael Douglas. Douglas, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember that movie. That's Michael Douglas and Demi Moore, oh, um, yeah. and it was uh, sort of a sexual harassment thing. She was his superior, and she came on to him, and he backed off mid whatever and then they fired him or they set him up to be fired just to get rid of him kind of a thing and he had to prove his innocence and all kinds of stupid stuff that was like when virtual it was a virtual reality or something it was like i mean 1994 tech right yeah Yeah. well virtual reality was becoming a thing back then yeah and that's when we also got like the lawnmower man that was a vr movie oh yeah 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 yeah, and they had they had a VR game at GameWorks when they first opened, and I think it was I think it's still there actually the VR game, and it's this headset it's on like a like a gimbal of some sort, so you don't have to put it on your head. Oh, it's sure. a massive thing, and it's huge, and you basically uh, it has controls that are attached to it, so you can 
move around and up and down like that. But it's it's very old school. Huh. Like, and like, that's a lawnmower man? Yeah. Um, the game itself isn't the lawnmower man, but it's the same oh, technology okay. that they had in, in the lawnmower man. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, here's one that they always claim us as Gen Xers is the Gen X movie, uh, which I think goes to Clerks, but uh, Reality Bites. It's same same kind of. I mean, th- this was, Reality Bites came out after, I think, didn't it? I don't know. Uh, it had Winona Ryder, Ethan Hawke. Huh. Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller, that's right. Yeah, he was, was like the yuppie dude, right? Yeah, and, and it, as I recall, it came out after Clerks. Clerks was such a huge hit that all the studios wanted to have their own version of Clerks, yeah. and that's but why it, we got said, that. Yeah, well, if they came and out. that was also why we also had like oh, was, that was the other one that was filmed in Seattle. They had like um, Stone Gossard and, and Eddie Vedder in it. Um, oh, singles, yeah. singles, yeah. I think that was a year before this. Yeah, ninety two, ninety one. Yeah, 91, I think. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, yeah, I never saw around. But. Uh, our friend uh, Johnny Depp oh, yeah. Ed uh, Wood. came Ed out with Wood. Ed Wood, which is just a... I haven't seen it since it came out, but it's just a crazy... It was fun it movie. was funny. It was goofy. It, oh, yeah. it was like, it made me want to see the original movie, which was, oh my God, it was terrible. <laughs> but um, oh, It's terrible. I mean... <laughs> Karloff was a cocksucker. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. <laughs> uh, uh, and then probably every- still one of my favorite Ed, uh, Tim Curry and Tim uh, um, Burton movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it's like I said, it's it's not like it's not his best movie, but it's not his worst movie. No, and it's filmed as an act of love. It it's, really it's is. filmed. It's filmed to yeah. kind of poke fun at it too. You know? Oh man, because I think yeah, I don't know, because Burton kind of likes that same aesthetic because he's a high budget. Uh, you know, uh, not you know what I mean. Like he, does budget high budget indep- he does you know? high budget independent films. Yeah, is what I would call not it. Burden. Yeah, makes sense. And then finally, uh, everybody's favorite family movie, Angels in the Outfield. And then that have like Tony Danza and oh. uh, Danny is that the Robert. building they will come? Yeah. No, 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 no. That oh. is oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The actual angels going down and helping the. California Angels baseball team or oh, something. Geez, I hope it's got <laughs> Danza. No, that, no it <laughs> was the, the, an, the angel was Christopher Lloyd. I thought. I think he might have been one of the angels, but I thought Danny Glover was one of the like the manager of the team or something. That then, sounds. I don't know. If not, you're know. right in the next well, one. Yeah, yeah, right angel, now. Angels it, and, <laughs> all I know is that after this movie came out, the uh, the people who owned the actual baseball team sold it to to a company that which is basically Disney. So they, they renamed the, the local uh, team the Angels because of the movie. Hmm. I thought it was a or maybe it was the other way around. And cult film. Angels well, they, in the outfield. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I know they did that Todd with the Ducks, the Mighty Ducks. They definitely uh, did that with the Ducks, but I think they I also think did the with Angels the, were the Angels for a long time. Oh, were they? The, I oh, maybe that's why. Oh, I mean, I I do know that the Angels at some point were were owned by a. Disney Corporation. Yeah, maybe so. I don't. That's why they they be uh, or they got the they got permission to have the same hmm. uniforms and stuff. Yeah, yeah, because they were uh, California Angels. Were they like- California? And now they're I think they're the Anaheim Angels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, California Angels for a long time. Huh. Maybe huh. maybe it was when they moved to Anaheim is when yeah. when it was owned by Disney. Yeah, possibly. Um, yeah, I don't know much about the Angels' history, but um, yeah. Well, I just remember seeing that in a video thing some that fell from grace. These, others didn't. These sports movies were that were <laughs> were made into a movie were then owned by Disney at some point. We are lead, sir. If it's not Air Bud, I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> I never saw those. Me <laughs> The basketball playing dog, right? Yeah. 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 Baseball. Yeah. Well, they no, made like there was there was twenty of them. No, there, there's been there's been a bunch of them, and each one is a different sport <laughs> oh, from what yeah, I call, yeah, recall. Yeah. There's there's a football one. There's a basketball one. There's a baseball one. NASCAR. I'm waiting for the uh, curling one. <laughs> That's, no, that's, Dogs are that's, high. that's Ben. That's, yeah. that's Benji. Benji goes curling. Yeah, yeah. Benji on ice. Ben, ah, Benji. Oh my God. Ben, uh, Benji. Uh, curling. Uh, How is that a sport? 
I well, don't know. How is bowling a sport? Well, right? I, don't, I think any activity you can do while you're smoking a cigarette is a game and not a sport. Not a sport. Yeah, yeah. but I don't know. Although, I mean, you I've could smoke and play and baseball. Yeah, you sure time. could. And those I guys are athletes. You could smoke and play football. I guess I you're right. You can smoke and do anything you think you want. I, how successful you might be, I guess, is the question. <laughs> Which is weird. Cause, and not to you get smoke off, it and do it like totally open heart off, surgery. Off subject, but why do they, why do they like, like suspend players and fine them for smoking weed, smoking pot, uh, as a professional athlete. If you can go out and perform at a high level and still smoke weed, right? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why suspend you? I, I think. I, I think Robin Williams had a joke about that. It's like it's 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 not a performance enhancing drug. So I mean, the only thing they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna want to do after smoking weed is maybe make a bong out of out of an apple or something <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i mean i can see like yeah like you said it's not performing i can see steroids and all that band that shit but yeah i mean beats me I don't it's, know. it's not gonna it's, it's not it's gonna it's hype you up it's not gonna give you energy if anything it's gonna want, make you want to go sit down on the bench <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take yeah, me yeah. out maybe coach. that was it so we just paid like a 200 million dollars that's what you know what i mean it's like get yeah. off the bench bro the owners got together yeah. and so we don't want this shit yeah beats me nah. and but and the attitudes were different about we, you know, yeah. they're changing. Yeah. So. Uh, Amazon yep. is founded by Jeff Bezos on yep. July 5th of 1994. That guy played a long game, yep, you know, because I used to mock him openly about losing money every year, not making a thing, not doing anything, blah, blah, blah. And then he just took over. Yeah, I don't know what year he... he did. I know my parents had a bunch of Amazon stock for a while. Oh, man, yeah. And and did well with it, um, but that must have been late '90s, early 2000s, or something. Yeah, no, but even then, I mean, '94, the internet wasn't a huge. No, I, he was just doing books. He was I just remember. doing books back yeah. then, and I think it was early 2000s where the Amazon was starting to like suffer, and that's when they they teamed up with other companies to do their online stores for them. So like. And the original online stores for like Target and all these other places was Amazon. Mm. Okay, and it just had the it had the Target at the top of the website, and it was the same layout. It was the same interface. It was everything was the same. It just had the branding of whatever store that they were partnering with. Yeah, we did a company in Seattle down on King Street in Pioneer Square, and they took over. They started small, and they took eventually took over a couple of floors of. Uh, I think the 83 King Street building down there. Yeah. But I think that they, that's what they were, was a shopping cart uh, for online mm. retailers. Like, if you wanted to buy something uh, and you put it in the cart, it would go to them, and then they would process the transaction, mm. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And they were, like, hyper successful, and we were out there doing so much cable and new phones, and they were expanding, and now we're moving people around, and uh. we're taking over the We need 40 more stations set up and all that stuff. And then by the end of the dot-com boom, there was, like, three guys in a, in a small wow. office. Uh, yeah, just trying to close everything out, you know. All I know from that is that uh, that was when I did the Seattle Underground tour. And if you've never done it, do it. It's fun. But apparently, the tour used to be bigger before the dot com explosion uh, because it was basically all these basements in in downtown Seattle were part of the tour. And they were empty. There was nothing in them, and you could go down there and walk around and see all kinds of old shit. And then when the dot-com thing became a thing, they started using their basements and putting server, you know, farms in there. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, mm. we did we did a company called tellthemnow.com, and you can probably grab that URL if you want to. Oh, right. But it was a company that all they did was they researched e finding email addresses for celebrities, business, you know, high up. Like, we're going to find Donald Trump's email address back in 2000. Oh, uh, uh, reverse search? All that stuff. And, they, and you could go to their website and pay a fee or sign up and be a member, and you could find the email addresses of all these famous famous mm. people right yeah. and that was their thing and they got funding for this because everybody was like throwing money at the next big thing right sure. so they ah. took over remember jaffco in downtown oh, yeah. i they remember took jaffco. Over that building yeah uh part of that building and we cabled the hell out of that you see it was tell them now.com yes it, yeah it's it's it, the domain is expired and it's owned by e epic 
E-P-I-K.com. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it, they, they didn't last long, but I remember cabling the hell out of that building. I remember my buddy Ed, who was a prior methamphetamine user, and his teeth had done the methamphetamine thing. So he had missing teeth, and a lot of them had rotted out. And he and I got into the ceiling, and we were pulling some cable, and we're crawling. The ceiling's about yay tall, and it's red iron, so you had to go down between the red iron and if you needed to go left or right you had to kind of worm your way over and i'm kind of claustrophobic and don't like it but we're cruising along and we separate and ed goes one way and about mm, five minutes later because it takes some time to get over there i hear this ding and then ed starts laughing and i'm like dude are you okay he's like yeah i lost another tooth it turns out he had spun his head too quick oh man and it knocked his face on the red iron and it snapped the last of his front tooth oh, oh wow man, i was like oh dude Dude, I do not want to be crawling. I said, that that side is yours? Because I don't want to be crawling through and find your tooth. <laughs> oh, man. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, Ed, I That's love you. Wild. I wonder if Ed's still alive. Ed, if you're listening, if you're out there, get in touch, buddy. It's been too long. Okay, geez. Back in 94, uh, the World Series was canceled because there was a uh, player strike. Geez, I guess I do remember that. And it was the first time because the World Series has been played every year since 1904. Wow. So 90 years. uh, American tradition, whether you like baseball or not. First time in 90 years wow. that it wouldn't be played. Was that wow. because some players got paid better than others and they just wanted to have know. it equal across the board? I don't, I don't know. I do know that the owners of baseball teams and football teams and all those make a crap ton of money. And yeah. the players make a shit ton of money, too. But, some players. Um, yeah. yeah, some players do. Yeah. And it might be just that, yeah, maybe some of the veteran contracts weren't super good or and i something. bet as television was changing and yeah, cable yeah. was expanding and all that i'm sure lawyers like well you know you all should be getting a piece of that too yeah yeah yeah. And i probably should you know yeah so, yeah yeah because um, a lot of places have to bid on you know uh, tv deals even so, like colleges they yeah bid on TV me and mike should be getting more of this pot no, 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 i'm just kidding more of the, <laughs> the more of the negative here. money that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys can have all the negative money if you want. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, September 22nd, a little sitcom called Friends premieres. Oh, man. Yeah. Fuck. 30 I didn't, years ago. I, 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 I was, uh, you know, of the shows that happened during that time, that was one that I didn't get into, but I, di- I did understand why people liked it. And it was it was funny. I just didn't really get into watching yeah. it. Yeah. Um, other shows, and I don't know if you guys, I don't think I was into any of these but other premieres were my so-called life hmm. that had uh i remember claire that Danes but, yeah and claire danes jared leto right was he in that too he was the heartthrob oh okay. he was like the mysterious musician heartthrob guy <laughs> uh, actually out of all of these the only one i watched consistently was probably sister sister yes yeah, sister sister that was the twin gals that are still acting today right? yeah they, they they have um well one of them has a show on netflix um family reunion and the sister does make an appearance in like season three <laughs> okay um mike season watched one, this religiously no pun intended touched by an angel oh, Do you i was that? aware of it by an angel <laughs> it was immaculate <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Delta Burke? Was in that? <laughs> yes, Delta Maybe. Burke, yeah. and I can't. There was an English lady that played the, the lead, the right? Irish lady. Yeah, was she Irish. Yeah, yeah. She was uh, very not Irish. who I think it was. Jeez, uh, oh, uh, I can't I, think of her name. Oh yeah, uh, I'll, I'll look it up. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, uh, George Clooney finally oh. got some TV star power. He starred in ER. Oh jeez. Premiered ninety four. Wow. And then uh, Party of Five. Jeez, kind of forgot about that. That was huge. Roma Downey was her name. Roma Downey. Yeah. Not who you were thinking of. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what was the other one with Michael Landon, who was an angel? Uh, Highway uh, to Heaven. Highway to Heaven. Oh, yeah. man. You remember Highway to Heaven? Oh, yeah. yeah. And it had the guy, uh, another guy from Little House. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. the grumpy old, uh, yeah. yeah, I can't think of his name. No, me neither. Yeah. Yeah, he was, he was, he was like uh, Michael Landon's character on uh, 
they were best friends or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, then he, when he did, did when he, uh, when he started doing the Highway to Heaven or whatever the other, uh, whatever that show was called with him as an angel, they were both angels. Hmm. I thought he was a human. He was like the sh- human show. Oh wait, you're yeah. right. I'm thinking of something yeah. else. Okay, he was yeah. like the Earthbound. I, the only episode I remember of Highway to Heaven was when Michael Landon got pissed at some guys uh, because I don't know what they were doing, but he came up and he ripped like their car door off, used his angel powers, yeah. and ripped it off and got in trouble with God. So he had to go back to heaven and kind of face the music. Oh, oh man, yeah, you man. can't and have then, a tantrum on Earth, man. Yeah, and yeah. then his best buddy, the the human dude. Uh, it had to solve the issue of the show. Yeah. Because Michael yeah. was like, I'm up in heaven getting my ass chewed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By yeah, my, yeah. my boss. Yeah. God's peace. <laughs> Dwarf. Holy crap. All right. Finishing off 94, huh. we had some celebrity deaths. Uh, Richard Nixon. Uh, Jackie Onassis. Yeah, uh, I don't remember her living that long, to be yeah, honest. It, it didn't yeah. seem like that, but uh, John Candy. Oh, man, geez, that seems like yesterday. Yeah. 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 And Raul Julia. Oh, yeah. Raul Julia. The last yeah. film being uh, the uh, Street Fighter. Yeah. 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 Why couldn't it have? Why couldn't it have been one of the uh, Adams Family movies be his last movie? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, Jack Kirby, oh, comic God book, rest your uh, soul. royalty, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's right up there with Stanley, if not yeah. above Stanley. Yeah, man. yeah, and speaking of comic book and and Batman yeah. and stuff, Caesar Romero, sure, yeah, passed away. The OG Joker, yes. Uh, Peter Cushing, Star oh, Wars, yeah, no, like Grand Moff Tarkin, yeah. Uh, a team's George Papard, oh, you know, he's great, passed man. away in ninety four. Breakfast at Tiffany's, yes. <laughs> Honest to God, no, that I, guy yeah. was like a sex symbol. He was all over the yeah. place. Yeah, made a bunch of westerns in the yeah. late sixties and seventies. Uh, Telly Savalas, That's who true. loves you, baby, oh, yeah. died. Uh, comedian Bill Hicks oh, passed man, who's away. Ninety-four. Still correct. That guy is funny to this day. Yeah. Uh, Jessica Tandy passed away, and I think she had just come out with uh, Driving Miss Daisy yeah. the year before, right? Yeah. With, uh, yeah. Morgan Freeman, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, won the Oscar, didn't she, or the movie? Movie got I, best feel like did. I feel yeah. like it did. I feel like it did. I think yeah. he won it. Yeah. Much to many people's chagrin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I've never seen it. Because it beat out a bunch of other really sure. good movies. Like, didn't it beat out like Do the Right Thing or something? Oh man, yeah. that's something like funny. that. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Uh, Hollywood royalty, Burt Lancaster, yeah. and I'm an old movie buff, so Burt Lancaster, big part of my. Wasn't he like? Golden era Hollywood, yeah, big time. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot definitely. of westerns, a lot of tough guy, yeah, yeah. a lot of. Have, wasn't have, he also? Um, I, I may be thinking of somebody else, but wasn't he also like, um, like, uh, um, Robin Hood or like Arthur, you know, Pendragon uh, or whatever? No, I think you're thinking of uh, Errol Flynn or something. Oh, okay, okay, mm. which would same have been age? a generation before him. Oh, yeah, a generation so, yeah. before him. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, Lancaster be a silver age, right? And so, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, author and famous partier uh, Charles Bukowski. Yeah, who uh, passed away yeah. in '94. Yeah. And I've tried to read his stuff. Hey, and it's I'm not just, for me. Yeah, yeah, I just, was into that guy. Yeah, yeah I just can't wait. do it. There was yeah. actually a guy named Charles Bukowski. Oh, yes. yeah. Because that's the character name in the show Chuck. Huh. Oh, I, I haven't watched Chuck. I, it's such a good show. He's uh, basically. Do they make reference to his. Well, yeah. I, I, but his name is. No, it's Barkowski. Never mind. Uh, Something similar, though. Close enough. <laughs> but uh, either way, I mean, it's about a guy who works at the. Like the. Uh, Best Buy type of store as the the Geek Squad kind of dude uh, he's the lead lead guy for the Geek Squad, and he has like an eidetic memory, so he gets an email from an old college buddy who, I guess, became like a spy in the CIA. He gets this email, he watches this video, and it like implants all these all this information yeah, into his serious? brain, and then he comes out of it, and and he has like these flashbacks where he knows who that person is because he saw it in that video he got from his buddy. Yeah, that's interesting. It's a really cool show. So I then really, he becomes like a super spy? He, be, he reluctantly becomes a super spy because he has both a, a CIA and an FBI handler, one being um, um, the, the, the un-Baldwin, uh, Adam Baldwin. Uh-oh. Adam Baldwin is like the yeah. the FBI guy, and the, the blonde chick is like the CIA operative, and they're both like arguing over who gets to kind of huh. keep track of them. When did that show come out? Um, early early mid two thousands, and it ran yeah. for like five seasons. Okay, 
Yeah, it's on. Oh. It's on Max, I think. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll check it. It's. I, I enjoyed the shit of it. I hope that it comes back because I mean he's been talking about it for the past couple of years. He's been trying oh, really? to bring it back. <laughs> nice, and then uh, finally the second Darren uh, from Bewitched, Dick Sargent, uh, passed not, away. Not Dick York. Not Dick York. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant York. <laughs> I know. I always thought that was funny because they're both named Dick, and then uh, their last names are Sergeant York. Yeah. I always, I always made that connection. Well, that was a, that was a joke in. in uh, Wayne's World too. I think. Oh, was it really? Yeah, uh, I don't remember that. Wayne's Elizabeth World. Montgomery. Yeah, oh, she's, she's still, still around. Yeah, she right. Is she? On. She's like in her seventies or eighties. Oh, I thought she had passed a few years ago. Or maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. I don't know. Oh, uh, you know what it is? It's the um, Dream of Jeannie. Oh, that Robert was, well, Eden. Oh, she's still around. No, that's great. nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, she's a terribly attractive human being. Yeah. Dick York, uh, he had to leave the show because he got addicted to like painkillers. Oh, and stuff. No. Is that what it was? There's a movie uh, with uh, another one of those old Hollywood movies. What's uh, Gary Cooper? Um, where the cast? It's a bunch of like army guys that had gone down to Mexico to fight Pancho Villa or something, but they're trying to make their way back to their base, and they come across a one of those railway cars that you uh, do yeah. the seesaw thing. Uh, yeah. And I guess he was doing that on film, and then I think his co-star, like, let go, and it, like... Launched him? Lo- it, like, yeah. snapped his back. It just, oh, like, shit. fucked his muscles yeah. up in his back. And for the rest of his life, he was on oh, painkillers. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, I think that's why he ended up leaving Bewitched. Hmm. They got the the second Darren. Sent him off to a sanitarium yeah. or something. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah well, fuck, I wouldn't wish addiction on anybody. Yeah. Uh, and, and it wasn't until years. Li- it wasn't until years later that I realized that Darren did change at some point because I remember watching the reruns on Nickelodeon back in the day. Did they? Was that one of the ones that uh, the first? Dick was black and white, and the second Dick was color. I thought that whole thing was black and white. No, they had at some color point it became color. Yeah. I think I think when they transitioned to colors, when they changed the actors, oh, right. is that well, what it was? Okay. I think it that was. Yeah. All right. And Agnes Moorhead, she's yes. one of the most celebrated yeah. American actresses of all time. Yeah. Was she the one that was the neighbor? She was the mom. She's the mom. Oh, the mom. Oh, yeah. yeah, the yeah. Other witch, Durwood. Huh? Yeah. You you know the, the 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 lot that they filmed that show on just recently demolished all the buildings. Oh, oh like, seriously. They like they're gonna build new buildings in there now. They the 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 my brain is just not wanting to work today. The bewitched house, the partridge house, um, all the other houses in that neighborhood, like in the last six months, even oh, got geez. demolished. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Did they, is that Universal? Do you know where that uh, is? That was, uh, it was Warner Brothers. Oh, all right. Currently, yeah. Warner Brothers. Did they build, do we know that they built something in its place? Or are they just no, making they just, room? They just tore down those buildings. They're going to be building something there. But if they haven't yet. They just finished right. tearing down the last hmm. of the houses just a couple months ago. Man. Uh, and then finally, 94 saw some births. There's probably a lot more people that got born in 94. I'm not sure. But but these are all these <laughs> the are all famous names that ones that I could find was Justin Bieber, huh. Dakota Fan. Fanning and Harry Styles. This. Yeah, Which, Dakota uh, Fanning. She she was in that. Uh, she was in that uh, Runaways movie where she played. Uh, oh yeah, she, she played Cherry Bomb. She played. Uh, uh-huh. Cherry, or Cherry Curry, yeah, Curry, yeah, Curry. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 and then uh, the girl, that. the girl from from uh, the Kirsten Stewart, St- Stewart right? played. Yeah. She played Joan, um, Jett. Joan Jett. Yeah. yeah, great movie if you've not seen it. Yeah, I uh, just saw Dakota Fanning in Equalizer three. Yeah, no, I just watched that last. Did night. you really? Yeah. 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 What would you think? I, I mean, it's an Equalizer movie. Yeah, yeah. And she did fine. She was the, good. I, her role was weird because she didn't do a lot. No, it was weird. Yeah, I wonder if she got. I thought maybe she got injured on set oh. or something and that's why because she's a big name down. yeah yeah and then then so she could have hospital scenes and stuff like that because she was oh. i don't know that i just kind of it just felt like it did seem would, odd because she's a big star would have yeah. done more with her yeah but I don't well know. maybe she'll be in the next movie maybe maybe because she figured uh, a lot I have, out i think this know? was the last one they're not going to do it no, they might build something have, around her though this is this is the one where the lead is um Denzel. Denzel, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I didn't recognize any of the bad guys. No, I didn't yeah. either. Well, but the scenery was nice. I think he just wanted a vacation to Italy. So he's like, let's make the third <laughs> movie, let's say, on the coast of Italy. Oh, man. And, uh, 
That was funny. I love that opening scene when he's like in the winery. And he's in oh, the, all the guys like yeah. got their guns. He's like, this guy's gonna get scared yeah. and miss, and then I'm gonna do that, and then he just yeah. I mean, just fucking badass. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I do, and that's what I really enjoyed in the. Uh, Jude Law, Robert Downey Jr., Sherlock Holmes movies is where he just calculates everything out. Right? Yes. And same kind of thing where it's like the the guy's smart enough to be able to see many steps ahead. Uh, just like yeah, super five chess, steps ahead. You know? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is these movies are kind of based on the TV series from the 80s, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of. yeah but way more uh, brutal. But then it, there's also a current t- TV series with Queen Latifah on the right. same story. Like so, which I haven't seen. I haven't no. seen. I haven't I either, like but it looks, it looks entertaining. It, I just haven't yeah. watched it. Who, what channel is that on? Do you know? Um, let's see what it says here. Does it say? Yeah, no, CBS. I just saw the item. It's on, it's on Paramount+. Plus. Ah, geez, I like that lady a whole bunch. And I bet that's much more PG, right? Oh, Because yeah. the, the Denzel it's ne- ones are, well, I mean, it's, he's it's, chopping. Chop, it's, chop, it's chop. N- network yeah. television, so yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. Queen Latifah oh. and Adam Gold- Goldberg oh, yeah. in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, do you boys want to? You wanna... know, me and Latifah and like I don't know a quart of olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh a quart. my god, Mike! Yeah, I think oh, you need a great more than a quart. I, I think I think idea. you need internal plumbing changes if you want to be with her. <laughs> you get the you get the Crisco and you got to yeah. massage it in a little more. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Uh, do you guys want to? Uh, speaking uh, of Crisco, do you guys want to uh, dispel some advice? Yes, we got a we got a oh, anonymous God. email to the oh, website for the some kids. advice. Cool, we're yeah. here for you. We're All here right. for you, people. Let's do it. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, this guy writes in. He says, "Call me Derek." Hi, Derek. I am Derek? a thirty-two-year-old married hetero male. I have a high school buddy I've been friends with for 18 years. He comes over to the house and hangs with me and my wife often, I'd say twice a week. He's an okay looking dude and a decent guy, but he hasn't had a girlfriend in like eight years. Here's the issue. Every time he comes over, we suspect he is jerking it in our bathroom. Worse, we think he is using my wife's favorite lotion to do it. There are plenty of other, quote, lubes he could choose from. Can't believe I just said that. He stays, he says, I can't believe I just said that. He stays in the john way too long, but it never stinks like he took a crap. He comes out red and flushed and always smells like her lotion. And it just feels like he was up to no good in there. My wife wants him to stop, but he wants me or she wants me to tell him. I feel bad about confronting him and making things awkward. Questions. I got questions. Yeah, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a number. Uh, should I confront him and how? And should I be concerned about the wife connection slash lotion? So should I confront him and how? Yeah. And, and should I be concerned yeah. about the fact that he's using his wife's... Well, lotion? what's the motivation for him to use that lotion right. specifically if if he's up to that act? If he comes out smelling like her lotion, then he's stealing from her. Uh, well... Right? It's like, yeah. anyway, anyway. I mean, if you so, went into my bathroom, Mike, and used I'd, some and lotion... Used, I would. Some of your old lady's product at Sephora. So you ever seen her bill from Sephora? You know what I mean? That stuff ain't free. <laughs> they're, yeah. Ulta, so, they're Ulta girls. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I mean... No, and if you've known this dude long enough, you can fuck with him about it. Yeah. Right? If you've known him 18 years ago, dude, what in the fuck, the fuck are, you are you doing in my in bathroom my for a half an hour? Yeah, yeah, And why do you come out smelling like my wife? Yeah. What in the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah. I, I would totally confront him. That's I, me. I, 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 I don't know if I'd be that forward with it, but I would definitely ask. I would say, you know, um, are you okay? Do you do you need anything? You were in there a long time. That's and, some IBS going on. You know, on. I mean, yeah. have you seen a doctor about it, you know? Yeah, but I think that's even more embarrassing for him. You know what I mean? I mean, but maybe like, he needs to yeah. be embarrassed, though, is maybe. what I'm getting at. I mean, I, yeah, and I would try to approach would, it as I, a joke. I would, as in a joking tone, anyway. But giving him enough... Uh, uh, escape. Yeah, escape to be able to like just go. Well, you know, dude. Well, uh, you know, it, I, you know, I eat nine pounds of cheese a day, so it takes me thirty minutes to take a dump or whatever. Yeah, it's I like, mean, but give, give him knows. some wiggle room. But it's like, yeah, then but he way. says that he's in there for half an hour and doesn't. In the, in the and bathroom does not yeah. smell like he just took a crap. So yeah, and it ends up smelling like your old lady when he comes out, and that's weird. That's yeah, yeah. I, I I think you would definitely need to to say something to the guy. I mean, I I wouldn't be a dick about it, but I would also be like, you know, hey. um, What's going on? Why t- 
twice a week even come on dude yeah uh, i mean twice a week oh he said he went over there he comes over a couple times a week right yeah yeah oh yeah it uh, hangs with me and my wife often i'd say twice a week uh, every time he comes over, we suspect yeah. he is jerking it That's in our cool, bathroom. Man. Plus, you can't. Plus, you why can't, you do that in somebody's house? I don't know, and you can't leave bodily fluids behind. No, you know what I mean. It's like I would be really angry about that. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm I'm mad enough. You come in and stink up my bathroom, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I get it. I mean, I get it. You got to do yeah, what but, you got to do. Yeah, but, but every not time, that. no, in two days a week. Let's say he was coming over to take a cheese dump or whatever. Right. It's like. Twice a week, you're taking a dump in my house. Yeah, not cool, dude. What is going it's on like, in your yeah, house? Yeah, dude. Yeah, a thirty minute, yeah. a thirty minute like deuce. Yeah, yeah. you got plumbing, right? Yeah. It's like, why? <laughs> why are you coming <laughs> to my house yeah. to stink up yeah. my house? And, and again, he know. says it doesn't stink up his house, so yeah. he's doing something else in there. I would definitely confront confront them. I would. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, unless he's just got like a grapefruit-sized prostate and takes him half an hour to pee, and he's really embarrassed about it or something. You I, know mean, what I mean, but uh, maybe I, I but would, that never came up in conversation. I mean, it depends on the on your friendship. If if you if you think he could take a little bit of razzing, yeah, you know, he's over there twice a week. You know, they got to be and they pretty close, each other for right? Eighteen years. 18 years. Yeah. You got to be kind of tight. So if he's thirty-two eight minus eighteen, that would 14, be fourteen. Since they were teenagers. fourteen years old. Yeah. yeah. So the other thing you could try doing is this is what I would suggest, just to kind of test the theory is is swap out the uh, the lotion for something not as pretty scent smelling. You know. Oh, hide the lotion. Hide the lotion. Put, put the put lotion it, in the basket. <laughs> put, put the lotion in the basket. Or it gets a hose again. But you know, I, I mean, seriously though, <laughs> take out the lotion that he's using. Oh my god! If, if you can visibly see how much is less that he's been <laughs> in there, start marking the lotion. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I can like do that too. Like it's vodka, like yeah. <laughs> like Dad used to do with the vodka. Yeah, uh-huh. but yeah, oh, man. just keep an eye on it. I wouldn't initially like maybe not confronting him right away, but just kind of keep an eye on what he's doing in there. Um, you know, it's a yeah. weird because nobody wants to be like uh, bathroom but I, patrol. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've but, known for eighteen uh, years. Yeah. I'd be able to yeah. like. It, do, you know, what if, the if you if you want to hide your GoPro in your bathroom, then just well, knowing he, knowing, criminal, knowing he's coming over. It's yeah. a private residence, man. No, I guess so. Yeah. You know, so it's, just go constantly knock on the door. You doing yeah, okay in there? Yeah, right. yeah, you yeah, yeah, right. yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you could do that. Just like, hey, man, are you okay? You need anything? You need something? Yeah, you but then, then the wife's there too. It would, I think it'd be better since he's this guy's friend. It is up to this guy to you sure to figure out what's yeah. going on, or just say, "Look, you know what I mean." It's making me and my wife feel weird that you're spending an hour a week in my shitter. Right. Right. Did up you to say something. An hour. He just said a long time. I would right. even go as far as saying it's making my wife uncomfortable and therefore making me uncomfortable and now yeah, yeah now it's my, my, old, now it's my, my old problem yeah. yelling at me dude yeah. and uh, you know you, uh, whatever you're doing in there you need to not do it in my house yes the the second question about oh. should he be concerned i need more information like is there any other signs i mean maybe that he just likes the smell yeah and, that. and he's not necessarily fantasized you know, about you know, the you could do, whatever yeah. if, if he likes the lotion <laughs> just gift it to him <laughs> Oh my God, that's that's a power move, with Tom. A bow. That's the power move. A little bow on it. It's like three quarters empty. With a note that like says a, "Take me home." Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah, like the like the Alice in Wonderland thing. But you know, and, and gift it with like a box of tissues. Oh man. <laughs> Oh jeez, but but definitely say take me home. Don't take me home. Yeah, don't yeah, do, yeah, yeah. do not use this here. Yeah, take I don't me know. Home. Dude shouldn't be drinking off somebody else's house. No, dude. it's not cool. No, it's not cool. Not unless you're invited to. So yeah. well, then that's a different thing. Yeah. I mean, that, that we would have gotten if, this letter. No, 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 right? no, we'd be fine. It, yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that the wife is being is getting uncomfortable by it, I, I would say who cares? But she's bothered by it. It's clearly him doing something in there that is not you know the number two he's not yeah, doing number one or number two yeah he's, say, he's, yeah. he's in there and i don't know so, has he sat outside the door listening to see if he's like if he's like power whacking in there oh you man know? i'd be super pissed i was like because yeah, i don't want that's them. when i would start yeah. pounding on the door what the fuck are you doing in there yeah dude yeah no because yeah just like what's park etiquette or a uh, trail etiquette is like 
leave it better than you found it or right. whatever. Yeah. Like, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. No, no, no spunk left behind. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. That, that would be, be the worst is and finding I'm, that. I don't want fluids of anybody's. I don't no. want anybody's fluids. I don't want blood or fucking no. spit or any of that shit left behind in my house because it's Maybe. not my responsibility. No. Which we'll get to in the top five tonight. Oh, nice. The pet peeves. Yes. Uh, well, what is Mike talking about? We're doing our uh, bonus round yeah. top five, which you can find on Patreon or on the members only section. Our top five pet peeves tonight, right? It's, and it's patreon.com slash our town podcast. I believe that's correct. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see it's it's on the link in, in our uh, yes. Instagram account and on a Facebook as Not well. Not hard to find. Cut Patreon is French for give us your money, right? Give me, give me, give me your money. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really, we but yeah, make us uh, so happy. You think we're happy now discussing somebody else's uh, <laughs> questions? We, we will pour over somebody else's <laughs> money. We will be delighted. Uh, Send us your money. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, on the first one, I, I agree with both you guys. Uh, depending on your relationship, as Todd say, be tactful about it. Um, if you guys have a, if you guys have played Soggy Biscuit back in your 18 years, then you don't need to be so Limp, tactful. Yeah. Limp Biscuit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the second question, being concerned about the wife's connection, I I really need to know does he does he flirt with her? Is there right other stuff going? Because yeah. it could just be he like uh, we don't it's, even know what the lotion is. Slippery. I mean, yeah, it might yeah, be yeah. vanilla or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vanilla gets him going, right? Yeah. Reminds but yeah, me of my I mean, mother. It, also, are are there photos in the bathroom? Is my next question. Oh, like, it, it, like in family pictures, is, is, the, is photos of the wife in there? Is yeah. she wearing nice is, things? Is yeah. she leaving her dirty drawers in the bathroom? Oh, yeah. Is there like bras hanging yeah. from the drying on the yeah. shower yeah. rack? It, it, or you, yeah. or if you, if you yeah. really want to be kind of like, uh, um, just like, I know, but I'm. I'm I'm not going to call you out on it directly, but I know is get yourself a porta potty for your front yard and have him go out and use that instead. Uh, <laughs> Just take the yeah. door off the bathroom when he comes over. Oh man! <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Well, we hope we, we help. We rented you. a hey, hey, b- or whatever, whatever his friend's name is. I'm going to call him Bob. Hey Bob, we got you a honey bucket that you can use anytime you want. You're not using our bathroom anymore. Yeah, definitely confront them. I mean, it's bugging your wife. It's going to bug you. Happy wife, happy life, right? Um, I think it's your duty to confront them about it. Uh, oh, yeah, however, you do it is like we said. Uh, what's yeah. your relationship like? It really depends if 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 you're the kind of guy who. If you're the kind of guys who razz each other just because you know your buddies you've known each other since you're teenagers, then you can probably give them a little shit. But I I wouldn't right away just like jump down his throat saying dude what the fuck why are you why are you whacking in my bathroom Seriously. why are those boys whacking in my tool shed <laughs> you know to quote Mr. Anderson from Beavis and Buddy to America I don't know whacking in tool shed <laughs> Oh my God! People are nuts. Uh, boys, uh, nope. sharing is caring. Sharing is Have caring. Have you guys found any new so books, nice. restaurants, TVs, movies? Uh, anything? Uh, I did. I did binge watch uh, Echo last night. Oh, jeez! Oh. I didn't know it came out. How many episodes? Yeah. Uh, uh, eight. Oh, they, they released the whole. Did series. you watch all eight? Uh, I think I fell asleep halfway through, but I I, st- I went back and rewatched. But yeah. Jeez. It's it's about a a a deaf uh, Native American girl. Her dad was, I guess, a part of um, uh, Wilson Fisk's organization, oh. and uh, she becomes a, like one of Fisk's enforcers at some point. So. Is that going to have to be maybe not next week, but it, very soon another R take? I think so. I mean, I, I'm I'm willing to rewatch it, so I. It's, fresher in my mind but yeah um it was it was good i just i started watching it and it was i was already half asleep so mm. mike you have the disney plus right i do have the disney plus so yeah. we could maybe we could that. yeah at no least, i plan on watching the first it. half or yeah. so yeah yeah and i think they're like half hour episodes yeah. okay that's and why i was able the to binge first it. uh mature audience yeah. disney product right i think it has an ma uh, maybe i don't know i mean there was a lot of violence in it so yeah, yeah. i mean it was it was it was along the same lines as as um, Daredevil right. or or uh, Jessica Uh-oh. Simpson, so it's a very much the same style of action as those. Because right. we're talking about uh, watching it with the kid, because she likes the female uh, tough action heroes. So I mean, there's blood and guts, um, 
but not excessive. Huh. Any drug intake or nudity? Anything? I didn't see any nudity, and you don't see anybody directly using drugs. Okay, I think you, which I don't. Like, yeah. I'm not against her. You, seeing you it see, just takes a little more. You see people that are are clearly intoxicated, but they're you don't see them in, in, taking any drugs or drinking or anything like okay. that. Yeah, the kid showed me today that she was in a chat with uh, not a friend of hers, not a total enemy, just a, sort of an acquaintance, but sometimes they don't get along because this little girl's kind of a... A bully? A, well, she's more jerky. She's a little bullyish. That's a bully. Um, but she's very jerky. But in the conversation, there was somebody named uh, Eat That Ass 69. And she comes out and she's like, so, I mean, she's got a friend that's eating eat that ass i mean what is that about dad why would you eat the ass and i was like i can't i'm not going to get into explaining eat that ass 69 uh, all all you gotta know is that you never go ass to mouth i'm just hoping that you know sometime in the next few years it'll become more apparent because somebody will explain it to her at school (laughs) no (laughs) i honestly i think you should just go ahead and say it's 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 a it's a sexual thing. You don't yeah. need to know more. Just go ask your mother. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go ask your mom. Go ask your mom. Go ask, mom. Go ask, go ask grandma. Your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandma. Go go ask go. grandma. <laughs> <laughs> that will, I'm sure that will go over really well. Oh my grandma, God. what is? Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why do people eat ass? <laughs> nice. Uh, but what do they I, mean to eat ass? I just <laughs> binged the second season of uh, Vikings Valhalla hmm. uh, on Netflix and uh, did enjoy the second season. Third season supposed to go. Third and final is supposed to be this year. Um, when I started it, I like knew the characters and stuff, but I didn't remember everything about the first season, which I hate because there's that gap between seasons and you got to sort of remember. But um, I think it's got like a 90 Rotten Tomato uh, meter. Oh, geez, that's good. I enjoyed it. It's yeah. uh, based on history loosely, so it's not perfect but uh do they have british accents some of them do yeah. uh but they really try the actual oh, okay. Okay. northmen they they really try to do a uh a northern uh, Nor- norse accent yeah. Norse yeah. that's language. nice yeah that's nice norwegian i'm just kind of tired of every and it didn't make my pet peeves but every period piece you know rome and all it's that all it's all like, english hey, yeah it's like mm, i don't remember them sounding like that you know what <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just the oh, opposite that's... i i don't care if if uh you know, if there's like an alternate audio track where you can listen to them speaking the native language, oh, but sure. I would like yeah. to have the option to have English being spoken. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, no, yeah, I, it's all. I mean, English. like an English accent, but it's like with the accent. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I thought because yeah, yeah. I, 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 I recently was telling Mike last week that I went and saw the new the new Godzilla movie, and it's all in Japanese, and there's subtitles. And I was, I've always. Been, I didn't know that. I I did not know. I, and I went yeah. back to rewatch. I I went back to try to finish watching it, and I still end up like getting. I believe because the, the subtitles come up and go away so fast that I, I miss half of what is yeah, yeah, I, get, I miss half of what is being said. Mm. It's a fantastic um, as far as special effects go, and and from what I did catch from the few things I was able to read, it's a very good story. It's just that it's it's gone, mm. and it, you know, mm. it's up and it's down. Yeah, I didn't know it was it's a subtitle. A, uh, Godzilla minus one is what it's called. It's in mm-hmm. theaters right now. Yeah. Nice. The good Godzilla footage, though? Oh, yeah. I mean, this, uh, I this, do love me some this Godzilla. Godzilla, he is badass. He is it, he is basically, like, of the of the monsters, he would be the one who would be like, do you even lift, bro? You know, uh, he is, he is yeah. all muscle, and he is just fucking ripped. And there's a scene where he, he's warming up his, his uh, cannon, so to speak, and all the, the, the plates on his back start popping. Like like the little turkey thing that lets you know that the turkey's done. No oh, man, pop it goes boop, 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 boop. and as it reaches to, to the base of his neck, sure. his chest starts to glow, oh, and then he man. releases his his heat breath at the end. Jeez. It was really cool. Uh, what about you, Mike? Uh, any new movies, shows, uh, my, uh, podcasts? You know, I guess my stepmom, and she had uh, she subscribed to the Atlantic magazine. Okay, so she gave me a bunch of back issues of Atlantic to catch up on. Oh, nice! Because it's nice. really good writing, but it's just like ninety bucks. Yeah, I, I didn't have it right. How far back? Just this past year? Or? Yeah, I think the last okay. like ten months. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. So oh. I've been reading a, a bit, played a little bit of guitar. Oh, yeah, you know, that's uh, just. 
stuff. You know how last week I mentioned that I was start playing on my Oculus again, and I found a world where they do like whose line is it anyway? Mm-hmm. I did one of the games yesterday, and I, I recorded it, so I'm I'm thinking I might post it someplace where you, where people can watch me try to do improv. Oh, that's you. Like yeah. you were participating in improv. Yeah, oh, were, that's it was. Great. It was. Have you ever watched like whose line is it anyway? No, yeah, no, it's fantastic. Where they where they yeah. do like the they have a conversation, but it's only questions. Like I come up, hey, how are you? And you respond with a question. And try to make it a conversation, but everything is a question. And if you don't get a question or if you say something that's not a question, you have to step off stage and the, your teammate has to come up and continue the, the Jeez, thing. that's cool. That's a good exercise, I, I really. I did that. And I, was, I, I, only, I only messed up like twice that Jeez, time. right so. on. Wow, good on you. That's yeah. still performing, yeah. right? That's it was neat. a lot of fun, too. Hmm. But, yeah. Well, right on, guys. Uh, anything super positive that you want to share to end on? Um, well, I just want to remind, you know, at least people in the United States, that there's no American that has complete immunity from the law. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. right. Yeah. So let's just matter? remember that it doesn't matter. Yeah. Dictators are not welcome here. Yeah. yeah. And we should not welcome dictators. No. So we, <laughs> we have many times in the past. So let's just keep getting better. And my thing positive that I want to mention was the top half of the battery. Ah. Ah. Uh, I got two things. Uh, The first one, the wife and I took a walk on uh, Sunday morning uh, over Renton Hill and uh, caught a apartment fire, which is not positive. But we got there when everybody was rushing out and there was a bunch of smoke and the fire trucks had not come. Uh, We had to sort of guide them into it because it's uh, up on that part of the hill. It's sort of hard to find. Um, Yeah. But it ended up being a dryer fire. Wow, so it's a thing. Clean out your ducks, yeah, your dryer ducks, because yeah. they'll fill up with lint. Yeah, um, and when you have this much lint on your lint trap, yes. that is too much. Yeah, <laughs> and not just that. I mean, yeah, it, it they've got the brushes, or you yeah. can get somebody yeah. to come in and professionally yeah. do it, like yeah. once a yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Got to do it because the whole friggin' apartment. Uh, right. I mean, that's fire. a drag. That's a I, drag. Wow. So about six, seven months ago. Um, Somebody in the house did a lot of laundry, and there was this much lint in the lint trap. I'm like, imagine what's in the the ducting and stuff if that's yeah. if it's built it's up that much. Build it up, and yeah. that stuff that's some that people put in there, like bug out bags, as a fire starter. Oh, the right? the dryer, yeah, the, yeah. the lint dryer lint, lint, yeah. magnificent. Yeah. It really works as long right. as it's dry, of course. But right. uh, but guess where it's dry in the fucking dryer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we keep hearing noises. We are in a working theater here at the Red yeah. Civic Theater. So if you hear some background noises, I think they're doing rehearsals. I think they're doing uh, Driving Miss Daisy, the musical. Are they, do- <laughs> they are not. <laughs> Angela Lansbury as yes. yes. Jessica Dandy. <laughs> as Morgan Rod Julia. I was as Morgan say, Freeman. I was going to say Angela Lansbury as, as Morgan Freeman. Nice. Oh, nice. Because she's good. She is good. Yeah. Angela Lansbury is a, is a godsend. Well, I got uh, last thing. Uh, uh, our friend of the show, uh, Sarah Sarah, huh. our Princess Leia Indeed. on the, yeah. I think, like 8,000 views. Of an angel. Uh, really? Wow. Um, yeah, on wow. our Star Wars oh. holiday We're special get parody sued, boys. on the YouTubes. Um, our Princess Leia sent this to me, and I just thought it was funny. I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, grant me the serenity to accept that Earth is filled with assholes and fuckery that I cannot change. The courage not to be a part of the assholery and fuckery and the wisdom to know I'm the shit without <laughs> shitting on others. Nice. <laughs> I ah, like Sarah, that serenity Sarah. player. Yeah, that, that, that's, yeah, that's probably the best serenity prayer that I've heard in a long time. Yes. My uh, favorite, though, was, for the longest time was, you know, grant me the, you know, the serenity, blah, 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 and the wisdom to know where to Dump the bodies of the people that pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for uh, sure. Oh, Sarah, 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 Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. That's yeah, awesome. Thank you. Listening. Yeah, no, and she sang a song. She, and, well, yeah, yes. maybe that's she. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of, she did. Yeah, she shattered it. Yeah, she did. Oh man. All right, boys. Well, we're gonna come back <laughs> for uh, not only our bonus round, our top five pet peeves, With or our take. Do, oh yeah. yes, our yeah. art take. We're doing the creator, I believe. Yeah. The yeah. Movie. I watched it last night. All right, and uh, yeah. You'll have to watch it to find out what yeah. I have to say about it. That's right. So tune in, uh, get over to Patreon or the members only section and check it out. Guys, anything else? 
Oh, thanks for being here. Uh, two plus two is four. Happy week, guys. See ya. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you think this episode is worth a dollar or five bucks, the boys would love to have it. Please go to ourtownpod.store for merch or to donate now. For less than a cup of coffee, you can also join the website in the member-only area for exclusive bonus content, vlogs, and more. It's just $3 a month or $30 a year. Thank you for listening to this production of Our Town Podcast Extraordinaire.